from Retail Me Not right now. Get thousands of coupons from 50,000 stores like Kohl's, Domino's, Best Buy, and more with crazy deals like 60% off, free shipping, and free gifts with purchase. You can get a text invite to download the Retail Me Not app 100% free right now for Apple or Android. Just text the code UPDATE to 42767. Then just show your phone at checkout to save. It literally couldn't be easier. It's 2015. Keep your coupons in your phone. Stop what you're doing and text UPDATE to 42767. Listeners will get a text with a link to download it 100% free. Never forget another coupon again. Text the code UPDATE to 42767 right now. That's UPDATE to 42767. Message and data rates may apply. For terms and privacy, visit RetailMeNot.com. Paid non attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas, is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice, and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention, Zarelto users. If you or a loved one took Zarelto and suffered a serious bleeding event, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Zarelto is a popular prescription blood thinner used to prevent blood clots and protect patients from strokes. These serious bleeding events have led to numerous cases of hospitalization and even death. Phone lines are open 24 7. Call 800 261 0937. That's 800 261 0937. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Farmers keep livestock lean and healthy with a mineral-rich diet. Then, before market, they cut off minerals, leaving them to crave high-calorie grains. If weight control is this easy, why prescribe surgery for humans? Introducing Longevity. You could avoid 900 diseases by getting 90 essential nutrients from Longevity. Check out 90 for Life at tobeyoungagain.com or call 855-79-YOUNG. That's 855-79-YOUNG or tobeyoungagain.com. Longevity. It's all about saving money, getting healthy, and creating wealth. So I say to Mark at lunch, look, you know, I keep hearing from the government that, you know, they're worried someday ISIS may get here. And I go, duh, uh, Garland, Texas, Muhammad cartoon shooting, ISIS is already here. I'm not waiting for these people to defend me. If they don't know ISIS is here already, they got no clue, I'm taking care of myself. Guns80.com, AR-15 kits, 30-shot magazines, great prices. They've even got the Hillary special. Guns80.com, that's 844-2-GUNS-80, guns80.com. Now, more Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. It's 855-450-FREE. You can call in and talk about, well, frankly, whatever you want. Um, we've got a uh, caller on talking about uh, how libertarians uh, can uh, are having some luck controlling uh, the, the, the political rhetoric, and that's a positive sign. We're also talking about uh, Bernie Sanders being compared to Jesus because Jesus was a socialist, uh, is the claim here. It's Mark with you. And Conan. Yep, this live edition, this live Tuesday edition of Free Talk Live. Bitcoinist.net is the ultimate resource for Bitcoin industry news, reviews, education, the latest in the cryptocurrency ecosystem. Whether you're an expert or a beginner, Bitcoinist is for you. They aim to cover fintech and blockchain tech as well. Bitcoinist has uh, very sophisticated Bitcoin network statistics, a solid beginner's guide, and much more. The Bitcoinist platform serves the needs of Everyone looking to keep up with Bitcoin and digital currencies. It's bitcoinist.net. That's bitcoinist.net. Let's go back to Cole. Um, calling in, I believe, from Alaska. Cole, yeah, you're I'm on. I'm in Wasilla. Wasilla, Wasilla. Uh, great. Alaska. Um, so let's go back into it, how we can take control of the language. Uh, I think a good example of this would be like the Black Lives Matter movement. Uh And, you know, people who aren't libertarians think a little bit differently when it comes to politics. Uh, Most of the time, libertarians think in terms of the non-aggression principle, the idea that anything that is unprovoked violence against someone else is wrong. 
And that is generally not the paradigm of discussion, you know, in the, on the national level. It's no. generally there's a problem and what can we do to fix it yeah. is more the – and then we becomes the government and, of course, that's where you lose most libertarians. Sure. But I'm saying we should – we should try and use that rhetoric more and not necessarily use the government as a solution, but show how our ideas are the solution. So if I see someone post a Black Lives Matter meme on my Facebook, for instance, or Cop Lives Matter, uh, which is, you know, another one, I'll, I'll repost it or, you know, I'll comment on it or I'll like it and, you know, I'll support it. And instead of – I hear a lot of people go, well, all lives matter, which is true. Obviously, all lives do matter. But instead of disagreeing with them – and making it a point of contention, agree with them and say, yes, black lives matter. And as a libertarian, I really care about, you know, this drug war that's affected the black community and the, the war on poverty that has, you know, hurt black small businesses and, you know, all these different issues that government has caused. And instead of making it about um, a disagreement, say, yes, I'm absolutely, you know, the same with police instead of, um, you know, saying police are bad and they're violent, which, you know, there are cases of that. I am more – the reason I think that we should, you know, stop the drug war is not because I dislike the police. I like the police. I think most of them are probably good people who want to do good, but they're, you know, in a job that doesn't allow them to do that. And, you know, they may have some faulty reasoning and we may disagree on some of the things, but uh, they're – you know, if they have to go into a crack house and stop a bunch of crackheads, then they're in danger as well as the crackheads. So yep. I care about the crackheads' life and the cops' life, and I think the best way to protect them both is to not put them in that situation. So the, uh, this is this is just true if you want to convince anybody of anything. So if somebody believes something strongly enough that they put it up on their Facebook page, they they took the time to share a meme or whatever, and that's not a it's not a super strong uh, belief system, but I mean it's. They took some time. If they believe it enough and you just hop in and go, nah, uh, <laughs> what you believe in stinks. Here's what I believe in, right? Like, that is a terrible way to convince anybody of basically anything. It doesn't matter what it is. You, you think of your strongly held belief system and you insert it here, and you can see that this is a bad way to convince people that your strongly held belief system is a good one. Um, Absolutely. And I would say on the contrary is instead if you present a new idea, perhaps the person who's saying Black Lives Matter has never thought about the war on poverty and its effects or yeah. how the war on drugs can be directly affected this. Um, an example I just had today, uh, uh, Bernie Sanders, one of my friends who's a Bernie Sanders fan on Facebook was talking about reducing the pay gap between people. You know, the one percent make more than 99 percent and so on and so forth. Well, yeah, I'm absolutely against the pay gap. I think it's, you know, a disgrace that the poor in the world make so much less than the rich in the world. And to me, in my opinion, the best way to reduce that pay gap is let's open up the border. You know, let's allow the GDP to double and let's allow a free market. So, you know, because the poor who are outside of this country are doing a whole lot worse than the poor inside this country. So if my focus is the pay gap, then I can do a lot more by opening the border than I could ever do by raising the minimum wage or creating all these social programs. Um, yeah, I think that, um, and for people out there, I, when I think of the Black Lives Matter, um, there's there's uh, polling done on this, and at this point, the Black Lives Matter folks have lost their momentum. Uh, it's 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 basically over. They they had a bad slogan from the beginning. The Black Lives Matter is an exclusionary slogan. <laughs> Right. I mean, it's like this is like, hey, uh, this this thing is important and those things uh, and, and thereby by el the process of elimination, those things are unimportant. And that is a bad idea. All Lives Matter would have been a much better slogan if the Black Lives Matter people would have claimed that one for themselves. And that would have created a, an, uh, an inclusionary situation, and people would have b believed it. And, and not had a whole, a very, some very obviously racist uh, individuals in their camp who, right. were, who were pushing it in the wrong direction. Now they, have, uh, now they have this rhetoric that they've got to back up because they picked this slogan. And it'd be like, well, when – then the argument is, well, when in history have white lives not mattered? And um, that's the, the argument. But, you know, and then you see this, the news stories where – some white kid in South Carolina gets shot by a police officer at a mar in a marijuana bust. Mark, Mark so, you, you said one thing about uh, putting these memes up, putting these pictures with these ideas, these pictures with ideas on them. 
on their Facebook. You said that it's hard. You know, people uh, have this might mean it might really mean something to the individual who posted it, but it's not hard. It's just as simple as clicking the share button. And it might they might not have a clue what it really means, but it's just it's just a feel good moment. It's like changing your uh, your icon on your on your Facebook uh, uh, picture. Well, it's, what I'm saying is, I mean, is, what does it really mean? And 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 then you and then you walk away and go watch your TV or do whatever you do, carry on with the rest of your day. It's so easy and it's so and by the way and it's so and it's so caveman. It's so it's such a it's just a feel good moment. And and the, what the caller is saying to do is to actually get in there and actually explain that hey, this is all right. I I, I agree with you, but this is what we have to do in order to make this happen. That's where it gets very difficult because you can't just say it in one hashtag word. It's right. it's it's very difficult to explain that why the pay gap is why it is. You know, I, the the problem is Bernie Bernie, Bernie, are, Bernie Sanders that enlarging the size of government, which which is what the one percent uses against us, enlarging the size of government, they that they're you, uh, actually enlarging their tool that they use against us is not going to help anything. You've you've got to you've got to get the the cronies and the and the the you got to get the you got to get rid of the monopoly and then let the people and the, let the free market have all that uh, business back. And that's what'll fix the pay gap. But trying to explain that in you know a couple of sentences is, or, in, or in one hashtag remark is not gonna. It's not possible. It's very difficult. Um, which is our you know we actually have to think about our ideas, which is what which gives us the disadvantage I think because you know it's not just based on emotion. And just to uh, well I hear the music, so I'll actually I'll get going and let you guys get to other callers. I appreciate your time tonight. Uh, Thanks for the call. If you want to call the show, it's. Uh, one eight six six. No, that's it. Eight fifty five four fifty free. That's eight five five four five zero three seven three three. Hey, let the professional do this. Paid non-attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas, is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice, and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention, Zarelto users. If you or a loved one took Zarelto and suffered a serious bleeding event, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Zarelto is a popular prescription blood thinner used to prevent blood clots and protect patients from strokes. These serious bleeding events have led to numerous cases of hospitalization and even death. Phone lines are open 24-7. Call 800-261-0937. That's 800-261-0937. No way. Is that a real bullet necklace? No, it's a 9mm bullet necklace with matching earrings, you'll notice. Those are awesome. Where'd you get them? They found them at PatriotNecklace.com. Wow. They have a variety of calibers and necklaces and earrings and keychains. PatriotNecklace.com? PatriotNecklace.com. Your choice of caliber bullet includes a rugged American-made stainless steel dog tag chain. A percentage of every sale goes to military and service-related charities. And get a discount by entering GCN at checkout. Show your patriotism and support our troops with a bullet necklace from PatriotNecklace.com. Sciatica, lower back pain, hip pain, poor posture. If you suffer from any of these problems, get ready to relax. Introducing an amazing product that's been in the market for over 25 years, the Sacro Wedgie. It was invented by a football coach using a common sense osteopath technique. He created this device to help his athletes by isolating and supporting the sacrum, which is the keystone of our anatomy. This wedge-shaped bone is in the center of our hips, where a lot of pain starts. Simply relax 20 minutes daily on the amazingly simple Sacro Wedgie and let Gravity do the work, helping muscles rebalance and start releasing nerves. Sit in the sacro wedgie at the computer or while traveling to help correct posture to finally help relieve those stubborn aches and pains for only $33.95. It's made in the USA, so click the family-owned website at sacrowedgie.com, spelled S-A-C-R-O-W-E-D-G-Y.com, or call 1-800-737-9295. That's 1-800-737-9295. Relax your back pain away with the sacro wedgie. Hey, Berkey Guy here. Are you still drinking unfiltered tap water? Does your water contain chlorine or fluoride? Will you have drinkable water in an emergency? The Berkey Guy is here to help you remove these and other potential contaminants from your water, thus helping you drink clean, purified water. We offer Berkey water purification systems at the lowest available prices online. Don't go another moment without Berkey System. Over the last 10 years, we've helped thousands drink clean, purified water. Join them by visiting GoBerkey.com or call me, the Berkey Guy, at 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Did you know that drinking pure, high alkaline water is one of the most important factors in maintaining high energy and vibrant health? Most experts agree that the water you drink should be at a pH level of 8 or higher. AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops, available only at AlkaVision.com, combine a unique formula of only the most alkaline minerals. AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops alkalize your water, ridding the body of harmful toxins, and helps you regain health and energy. Alkalizing your water by simply adding 10 drops of AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops helps 
helps the body rid itself of acidic waste, increases oxygen content, and raises the pH of your body to healthy levels. And bacteria and viruses cannot survive in an alkaline high pH environment. Order your bottle of AlkaVision Plasma pH drops for only $29.95 at AlkaVision.com. That's A-L-K-A-Vision.com. Or call 269-409-1776. 269-409-1776. Alkalize your body. Supercharge your health at AlkaVision.com today. By now you know that wireless technology like cell phones do in fact pose dangers to the health and privacy of everyone. Blockit Pocket's wide range of products are unmatched in providing the protection you deserve. No scare tactics, just common sense. BlockitPocket.com offers quality American-made options to alleviate and eliminate these invisible dangers. Learn more at BlockitPocket.com or call 888-315-9618. BlockitPocket.com, enhancing health and privacy. This is Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. This is Free Talk Live, and you can join us here on the radio waves. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. I guess we're talking about Jesus tonight. I uh, was just brought up to speed, having been at my monthly uh, board meeting. My my duties, aside from Free Talk Live, include being on the board of directors at Local Cable Access Channel. My name is Ian. And Conan's here. And Mark. And uh, you can, of course, join us on Skype as well. Actually, Skype's been pretty busy tonight. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. We're going to go right back to that uh, here in a moment. But I also want to let you know about Pro XPN, which is a way for you to protect yourself online. And I mean protect yourself from your own internet service provider who's likely logging whatever you're doing. Now, of course, if you use Pro XPN, your, your access, your internet access is then encrypted, which means your, uh, your internet service provider will not know what you're doing anymore. And that means they can't sell that information. That means they can't turn over that information to the government. So Pro XPN is a pretty cool thing. In fact, they don't even keep any logs of your activities at Pro XPN. And no matter what operating system you're using, Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, Linux, you can use ProXPN. So go and get started at ProXPN.com. Use coupon code FTL50. That's FTL like Free Talk Live. And 50, as in you, getting 50% off of the regular monthly price for the lifetime of the account when you buy an annual account with code FTL50. That brings the price down to probably less than the price of a good cup of coffee. So go to ProXPN.com and use code FTL50 to take back the privacy that is your right. As we go to your calls and thoughts, Ron, listening in Virginia, uh, actually, we might be having an internet outage, which will actually prevent me from putting Ron on, but if our board operator has the ability to do that. Ron, are you with us, sir? Uh, Can you hear me? I got you. Go ahead. Okay, great. Um, Well, I wanted to say first, the last caller on the language thing, uh, that was a really good idea, and that's kind of what I was talking about, or want to talk about. You had a caller last night who was talking about a uh, idea of a moral fiat currency being, you know, put up by uh, a great leader kind of person. Um, but he kept referring to wealth being created, and that kind of really bothered me because with a fiat currency, wealth isn't created by printing money. Um, wealth is created by ownership of debt. So, like, Well, that's whoever... this fiat currency, but not all fiat currencies uh, are that. Well, that may be true. I'm, I'm most familiar with this fiat currency because this is the one I've studied. Um, I haven't versed myself in other fiat currencies, but the one we currently use, debt, is the mechanism of wealth generation. Um, whoever controls the debt is the one who has the power and the wealth, and the dollars or Federal Reserve notes that we use, they're only a mechanism to transfer debt from one to another. Well, I don't even understand. I I don't even understand how you can say that debt is a mechanism for wealth creation. I mean, that's or that's not the only way you measure wealth. I mean, you you, in fact, I don't see how debt could even be measured as well. Well, as long as you're the guy who's collecting the debt, but the rest of us are screwed. So whoever, yes, whoever owns the debt is making the wealth. However, however, the rest of the 
Well, wealth is something more uh, intangible than just a, do- a stack of dollars or whatever, right? Like the fact that you have power, the fact that you have refrigeration, the fact that you have uh, air conditioning, the fact that you have you know a car to drive around. All of these things are wealth. Yeah, but what are you what are you using to to pay for that power or for that car? You're using exactly. the, you're using the currency that is currently in control of us. No doubt. I'm not saying currency isn't an indicator of wealth. It is, but it's only one indicator of wealth. Mm. If I have a million dollars, though, but I have liability or debt over a million dollars, then I am indebted. I have no wealth. But if, if the person who controls... No, you do have wealth. You, you have more wealth in this country, even with zero dollars, than somebody who has zero dollars in any other country because there's more wealth around you. If you're talking from a naturalistic point of view, I would agree. But I'm saying in the system of Tinder that we're using today, the money itself, the dollars, are not the wealth. The wealth is the debt control. Whoever controls the bank. That's why the banks have most of the control because they control the majority of the debt. Okay. Anything else you want to share? No, that's all. I just wanted to point that out. Thanks, Ron. I appreciate hearing from you tonight. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. I don't know what the right word would be for, you know, the amount of money or debt or whatever that you have, but it's not wealth. That's just one measurement of it. Well, wealth I, I, is a much larger concept. Yeah, I, you're definitely talking about other aspects of wealth. Me having a Saturday off and that's I go, go go to the park and just chill. That's a that's wealth. That's my but that's exactly. my but that's my time. And in some people, you know, their time is time they could be at work making more money, making more wealth in other ways. So I mean, yeah, it's so time is wealth. You're right. I've heard wealth described as, and I think it's a pretty good definition as uh, the the period of time you can go. Without working, so if you can go the rest mm. of your life without working, you've you're you've, very wealthy. You've managed to fit into the category of wealthy. Now you also have to sort of uh, maintain whatever lifestyle it is you wish to maintain. If you want to downgrade your lifestyle and and then go without uh, working, then you can probably do that. Heck, I think most people in the United States could um, honestly just. At, at least a lot of them could just quit and go on welfare and be relatively wealthy um, because it's about income, not, uh, uh, not not necessarily how much money you have. Uh, as as bank long as you got that middle class taking care of the uh, taking care of their sorry butts, Mark. Indeed. Toll free number. If you want to join us here, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. I, I think that a, a good way to explain the, the large concept of wealth uh, beyond just dollars in your pocket is you look at the United States a hundred years ago and you would be able to say likely that the uh, very rich people in the United States 100 years ago in a lot of ways were not as wealthy as poor people are in the United States I'm not today. even sure they had uh, I don't I'm not sure when indoor plumbing came about but we're talking about that time frame yeah. um, you can certainly say that 200 years ago right the rich, we're nowhere near as wealthy as poor people in the United States 120 today. 120 years ago, the rich anywhere didn't have electricity. Right. Right? <laughs> so if you're living in, uh, you know, if you've, if you've got electricity, then you are worlds wealthier than uh, somebody from 120 years ago. The Vanderbilts, the, you know, the Carneg- Carnegies, you know, these folks. You can also look at, like, lifespan. I mean, are we living yes. longer? Uh, we, have, we have more things. We're more comfortable. We have, you know... You can really tell when uh, a culture has become wealthy when they when you dig when you're digging up their remains and all you find are is art and mm-hmm. and music and and poetry and and all this because they have time to actually sit around and do these things whereas before all they were doing was out in the fields uh, hacking away or or raising their their animals all day long they didn't have time for any of this yeah uh, right. So, I mean, to really mix in the idea of debt into the concept of wealth, I mean, you can certainly create wealth by using debt, by leveraging it to... But what he's talking about in this circumstance is the United States borrows money into existence. That's The 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 notes are debt notes, right? Right. The uh, the Federal Reserve note. We we are... The money in my pocket is in debt right now. It's losing losing value as we speak. Right. There's interest being paid on the money by the... uh, you know that's put into existence by the government, you, by <laughs> by the system. taxpayer, um, and 
once it's paid off, there's no way to pay the interest, right? Like there has to be. There's only so many dollars out there, right? Yeah. There's, there's right. You borrow a hundred dollars into existence, and then you pay one percent on that hundred dollars every year. Then where are you going to get a hundred and one dollars from? It's unsustainable. There's only a hundred dollars in existence. Yeah, it's it's an unsustainable system, and the people who set it up certainly know that. Uh, you know, you want to go back to the uh, creature at Jekyll Island, for instance, uh, the story behind the Federal Reserve being set up back in 1913, along with the income tax. I mean, they know these guys aren't stupid. There, there's right? a, by the way, there's a really good animation. Like out the there. I, think, I think it's called the American Dream. It's about a 30 minute cartoon animation. It's very it, it covers it touch it, on the Federal Reserve. Oh, it, it yeah. covers all of the bases. It talks about Jekyll Island. It talks about, you know, the family. What is the American Dream? And it's and you know, are we really getting our American dream? Is it, or is it different than it was 30, 40, 50 years ago? What does it mean to be wealthy? You can answer that. You can also bring up anything that is on your mind. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. we got to come back to Jesus as well. Was he a socialist or what? 855-450-3733. I know Conan has some thoughts. It's Free Talk Live. For P-150, P-150GA, P-150OK, P-150TN, C-250A, C-250E, C-250Q. Not available in all states. What's the scariest thing about going to the dentist? Opening your mouth or opening your wallet? Because just a simple cleaning can cost $100, and things like root canals can cost you hundreds more. If you don't have dental insurance to help, call Physicians Mutual Insurance Company, 1-800-809-5580. This isn't a discount plan or preventive-only coverage. This is real dental insurance that helps pay for checkups right away, so you can call today and get your teeth cleaned tomorrow. Plus, it helps cover the more expensive procedures you might need down the road. Fillings, crowns, bridges, even costly dentures. There's no deductible and no annual maximum. Your acceptance is guaranteed for one of these insurance policies, even if you're retired. There are no networks, so you can choose any dentist you'd like. Call in the next 10 minutes and we'll rush you a free information kit with all the details. 1-800-809-5580. That's 1-800-809-5580. 1-800-809-5580. My name's Clyde, age 59, and I reside in Florence, South Carolina. The doctors diagnosed me as having clogged arteries felt like I was carrying heavy concrete blocks around my feet and legs. I started taking heart and body extract as directed. It is less than three weeks and I'm like a young man again. It's unbelievable that an herbal formula can work so fast and so powerfully. Learn the secrets of an effective, natural, 100% organic nutritional supplement for a healthy heart and circulation at hbextract.com. Okay, open your mouth and say, ah. Ah. When your child has a sore throat, you need to know when to get help. The doctor recommended Say Ah Sore Throat Exam is your solution. The scientifically designed oral retractor offers a clear view of the throat, relaxing the tongue and minimizing gag reflex. Compare with a medical grade chart, website, and app. Then you'll know just what to tell your doctor. A wellness plan in your hands in minutes. Go to sayahhnow.com. Sayahnow.com, the new mainstay for every family's first aid kit. We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit and carding to a private bank, having it lent back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. We all know that Berkey Water Purification Systems are the most trusted name in water filtration. As an authorized Berkey dealer for over six years and serving thousands of satisfied customers, the Berkey Guy offers amazing specials for Berkey Water Filtration Systems. The Berkey Light Systems include a set of self-sterilizing and recleanable black purification elements that purify water by removing chlorine, pathogenic bacteria, cysts and parasites to non-detectable levels and remove harmful chemicals such as herbicides and pesticides. Order the Berkey Light System to day complete with two black Berkey elements for only $231 and the Berkey guy will ship your order free of charge. With the purchase of a Berkey light, the Berkey guy is also offering a set of fluoride and arsenic filters for only $39.99. That's over 30% off the retail price. Call the Berkey guy at 1-877-886-3653. That's 1-877-886-3653 or order online at goberkey.com. That's goberkey.com today. 
KDArmor.com is your one-stop shop for the most affordable body armor, period. With packages starting at $169.99 and free shipping on every order, KD offers soft armor and rifle threat rated armor up to level 4. Go to KDArmor.com and get your body armor today while you still can. Mention this ad and receive a free tactical scarf for a limited time with any body armor package. That's CATIArmor.com. Come and take it. You're listening to Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything you want to discuss. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We've got Skype at Skype username LRN.FM. Joining you in studio, you've got Ian. And Conan. And Mark. Conan, you do a show as well. It is in a audio and video form, primarily a video but there's a podcast version of it that people can listen to on their way to work. This is true. It's Black Sheep Rising. We just had an episode the other day. It was a it was a fun one. What were uh, who were your guests and uh, what you know, what's one or two topics you guys? Regular covered? co-host Daryl W. Perry, who everyone uh, gets to hear here and on, on the news and on. I think he's on the Friday. Sh- the he's show? on Thursdays now, actually. Uh, usually, Daryl's usually very political, very uptight. And till he gets to my show, and then he lets it all loose. So if you want to see Daryl mm-hmm. lose out of his element, cussing and swearing oh, yeah. and and just going <laughs> off the going off the rails, watch Black Sheep Rising. Oh, you it's, can set him off, man. It's really easy. All you got to do is talk about his concussions or <laughs> <laughs> or what, or bring some of his favorite uh, uh, activists here in the area on the stage with him at the same time. Uh, the Robin Hooders. He has a Daryl loves the Robin Hooders. <laughs> not oh really he doesn't like that no huh? he doesn't like them um huh. but so yeah we just had one I'll, I'll have it up in a couple of days uh it's at blacksheeprising.org right you can listen to it or you can watch it on the youtube i do a pretty good job editing i put all the videos we talk about and splice them in there while we're talking so you get to actually see what we're talking and discussing nice and uh yeah good music good guests good uh, good, good topics BlackSheepRising.org as we go and continue with your calls and thoughts. Let's go to Will. Will Coley from the Muslims for Liberty in Tennessee. Hey, Will. Hey, what's up, guys? How are we doing tonight? Welcome, sir. You're on the air. Enjoying the New Hampshire Chippendale show you guys are showing Hey, (laughs) thanks. At cam.freetalklive.com. It's topless topless Tuesdays. Tuesdays. Yeah, except for me, which uh, I'm just trying to save everybody. Being modest. Yeah. <laughs> well, we were calling because uh, I had shared some information with uh, some of you earlier about a, uh, a sheriff here in uh, Sevier County, Tennessee, that uh, made some statements to local Tea Party groups. Uh, then we found out that yesterday another local sheriff, uh, this time in Hammond County, in uh, Bradford County, down by uh, Chattanooga, has also made some quite insane statements. Uh, openly advocating for profiling. Um, oh boy! Yeah, yeah. We actually uh, we we put out a release today calling for the immediate resignation of both of these uh, sheriffs. Uh, one is Sheriff Ron Seals of Sevier County. Um, he alleges that there are terrorists plotting to commit a terrorist attack on the Tanger Mall. Hmm, in they, they need Sevierville. a they need a bearcat. Yeah. The mall's um, a terrible, I just like to, just as an aside here, the mall is a terrible terrorist uh, attack point, right? Like, because no one goes to these things anymore. I mean, if you want to actually blow up a group of people, right. don't go to the mall. Yeah. Go to the go to the swim hall or go to the baseball game or something. Or well, Exactly. Well, also, you don't want a place that's, uh, uh, you know, more wide open. You'd want, if you were going to set off, I mean, you know, bombs are more powerful in, in smaller areas. Um, so it would seem like a mall would be too wide open, and and not that many people are going there now. Maybe during Christmas. Well, his evidence that he cites for this is the fact that uh, women dressed in Muslim attire have been seen taking pictures at. That's offensive. <laughs> Yeah, you know, because nobody takes pictures and sends them home to their kids. Right. Hey, do you like this? Do you want this? I'm going to buy this. No Muslim you know? should be able to take photographs in America. You, wait, you know who takes the most photographs at malls? The, J- the Japanese. 
Hmm. They take pictures of everything. They take pictures of the McDonald's sign. They take pictures, you know. I've of, seen of, I've seen Asians uh, taking pictures. I couldn't tell you their nationality, but uh, certainly it's uh, it's it's you know, something I've seen. So what? So, what, so are we going to are we going to profile those guys as well? So when there they was say, a war with them about 30, uh, 70 years ago. Mm, mm. Uh, Will, I haven't seen never the, forget. I haven't seen the the uh, you know what these sheriffs have been saying. Uh, I know you sent it to me today, but I just haven't had a chance to look at it. So what was it that you know specifically they were saying about profiling? What what, what would that mean? Do you know? Well, the uh, the, the sheriff stated uh, that we know that there is a growing Muslim influence in Gatlinburg. In quote, they use their upper room for Friday prayers. Um, then the audience asked him, what are you going to do about it? And he says, I didn't know that they were up there. What we have to do is identify who they are and then pass it along to the FBI. Good Lord. So, yeah, they're going to now, you know, put together dossiers basically on just normal people going about their normal day who happen to go to a local prayer hall, uh, to, for these alleged terror attacks. Now, when the uh, the property owner of the Tanger Mall was actually asked about it. They said they have no clue what the sheriff is even talking about. <laughs> now, the other sheriff, again, at a Republican event, stated, and this is a quote directly from him, Islam is a state wrapped in a religion so that they can get tax breaks, so that they cannot have government intrusion into Ridiculous. their mosques. They are able to use our own system against us. Islam is very good at what they do. They've built a structure to take over this country, and many of their pieces are in place. That's what they now, say about your—I'm sorry. That's what they say about Ian's church. He, <laughs> they, he, he's using their system against them. This was stated in official capacity, in uniform, as the sheriff speaking to the Pachyderm Club of Chattanooga, mm -hmm. another Republican group. Yeah, that's um, it's outrageous. Yeah, it is outrageous. That's as offensive as it could possibly be. I'd like to know what the evidence well, is for the Muslim takeover. Um, well, yeah, gets, how many Muslims are there in the United States? Or, or in Tennessee. Yeah. What gets even better is that the first sheriff in question, Sheriff Seals, is known by local reporters privately as the, quote, Teflon Sheriff. He's been investigated a number of times for corruption charges and even physically assaulted a political opponent on video oh during the 2008 election and was somehow able to skirt any type of charge or reprimand uh, or the consequence sheriff. for this. <laughs> so, Those guys almost well, never face consequences for uh, you know being corrupt. Mm. There's some of the well, most powerful people in the, in the United States. Well, that's why we're calling you guys and getting an opportunity for a national audience to hear about the corruption that exists, as well as the open bigotry and prejudice toward a certain portion of the community, um, so that the rest of your listeners can join our call for resignation of both of these sheriffs. Because when you openly state a personal prejudice against a portion of a community— That you're I mean, supposed to be serving. Yeah, I mean, you can't you can't tolerate that kind of thing from an elected official, and it, it goes to show that they cannot, with this personal prejudice, carry out the duties of their office in a judicious and equitable manner for all of those who are within their constituency. Yeah, but all he has to say is he is his line of duty at the moment is to protect everyone else. The ninety nine percent. From these one percent Muslims, if that's if it, if they're even that much, he's gonna, he, all, all he has to all he has to say is, "Hey, I was protecting you guys. I, I you, you were in my best interest." Well, if if he's going to claim that there's uh, some kind of setup for terrorism, I'd like to know what that what the evidence is that uh, you know Muslims in his media vicinity are uh, committing terrorist I, acts. I would also like to know what is the plan to take over the United States with the uh, you know the Islamic horde here of five million people, according to and, uh, and Sharia law and the whole nine. According to Islam101.com, supposedly five million in North America claim Islam. Now that says North America, so that could include uh, you know Canada and. Mexico as Could well. and does include yeah. Mexico. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's thought there's about three, about two, two to three million Muslims in the U.S. in total. Yeah. So what is the plan, uh, Will? How are you guys going to take <laughs> over uh, <laughs> with that many people? Oh Lord, I don't know. The they're going to move. They're going to move to New Hampshire. <laughs> <laughs> libertarians have been trying with numbers like that for a while. They haven't yeah, been very successful. And failing yet, so. miserably. 
which is why we want to concentrate our activism here in New Hampshire as part of the Free State Project. Well, thank you, Will, uh, for bringing this to the forefront. Uh, what are what are good ways for people to learn more about this? Well, you can go to MuslimsForLiberty.org. We have an article there where we have the the quotes from both of these sheriffs, as well as Perfect. a local public school teacher who also has made some pretty nasty comments about Muslims mm -hmm. at this meeting. Um, yeah, isn't that great? Another government employee who teaches your children her yep. personal prejudices more than likely. Um, there will also be articles coming out from Coffee Party, and we've heard that Conscientious Resistance will also be doing so. And on, I will be appearing on WATE TV Channel 6 at 11 p.m. tonight as well. Very cool. Mm. Keep up the good uh, work out there, Will. I appreciate hearing guys. from you. Thanks for the update here tonight. That's Muslims. Thanks for providing this awesome platform for activists. Our pleasure. That to get, you know, Thank you, brother. Attention to things. Assalamu alaikum. Waalaikum salam. All right. Uh, there's more here you can share with us at 855-450. We can come back to Jesus here in a little bit if we get a chance. 855-450-3733. Uh, and if you want to check out more about Will's thing, you can go to Muslims, the number four, liberty.org. This is Free Talk Live. Hour two, coming up. Geico applauds your inner happy camper. A merit badge of awesomeness goes out to the part of you that wants to put the recreation in recreational vehicle. The part of you that packs up everything and everybody in the RV and says, let's get this show on the road. Because Geico has specialized agents who help save money on more than just car insurance. Geico will insure that entire RV. So you can get the s'more making, poison ivy dodging, same song singing, ghost storytelling, campfire building, best time you ever had with your family, show on the road. Geico for your RV. See how much you could save. Before girls' night out, my eczema flared up. Ugh, I felt like canceling. But then I tried Cortisone 10 Eczema Relief. It's specially formulated for eczema and has 1% hydrocortisone, the strongest non-prescription itch medicine for fast, lasting itch relief. It quickly stopped the itch and soothed my red, dry, flaky skin. With Cortisone 10 Eczema Relief, I was ready for girls' night out, and it was the best one ever. Cortisone 10 Eczema Relief. Feel the heal. Use as directed. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and installation. You control what you watch when you watch it. Record your favorite shows, pause and rewind live TV, even skip the commercials. Watch local channels too. At just $19.99, what are you waiting for? Pull out your major credit or debit card. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. 1-855-905-MY-TV. Say goodbye to the cable guy. Cut costs and get more. 1-855-905-MY-TV. 1-855-905-MY-TV. Call to Decision with Pastor Butch Bob. GCN. Breaking news this hour from townhall.com. I'm Keith Peters. A search is continuing this hour for three suspects in the murder of a police officer in a suburb of Chicago, Illinois. Sergeant Chris Cavelli with the Lake County Sheriff's Office says Police Lieutenant Charles Joseph Glinowitz was killed after he advised he was in a foot pursuit of three suspicious subjects. When our first responding backup units arrived at the scene, uh, they located Lieutenant Glenowitz injured with a gunshot wound. Glenowitz later died. He had been stripped of all his police gear and his gun. An intense search involving local, state, and federal officers is on for the suspects. The family of murder victim Kate Steinle has filed claims against the city of San Francisco, the Bureau of Land Management, and the Department of Homeland Security. Steinle was killed in San Francisco by an illegal immigrant who had grabbed the loaded gun of a Bureau of Land Management ranger who had left it in plain view in his car when it was stolen. San Francisco is also known as a sanctuary city, one that does not allow resources to be used for enforcing illegal immigration laws. Kate Steinle's brother Brad says the failure to make changes in the city and by the federal government as a result of Kate's murder sends a bad message. The failure to respond and make any changes says to me that what was done to Kate was okay. 
The family also filed claims against the San Francisco Sheriff's Department and the Department of Homeland Security for failing to keep Juan Francisco Lopez Sanchez in custody. Pledging her allegiance to God and not to a federal judge, a Kentucky County clerk is defying court orders to grant marriage licenses to homosexual couples. Rowan County Clerk Kim Davis actually stopped issuing all marriage licenses after the U.S. Supreme Court struck down voter-approved marriage amendments. Rough day on Wall Street as the Dow was down by 470 points to 16,058. The Nasdaq dropped 140. The S&P lower by 58. And oil down to 4541 a barrel. More on these stories at townhall.com. For many people, noise is just a part of life. But there is one noise you shouldn't have to live with. It's the ringing in your ears associated with tinnitus, and sometimes it doesn't stop. Luckily, there is a new homeopathic medicine that can reduce the noises associated with tinnitus. It's called Quiet Assure, and it's guaranteed to help reduce the ringing, the buzzing, and the noises. Finally, there is Quiet Assure. Call right away for a risk-free trial of Quiet Assure. One in five people are suffering from tinnitus. Don't be one of them. Call now. Just call 1-800-326-1765. That's 1-800-326-1765. Quiet Assure is an all-natural homeopathic medicine. Get your risk-free trial. Just call 1-800-326-1765. That's 1-800-326-1765. It's looking more and more likely that Congress will not be able to block the Iran nuclear deal. Correspondent Linda Kenyon has the story. Senator Bob Casey of Pennsylvania and Chris Coons of Delaware have pledged their support of the Iran deal, becoming the 32nd and 33rd senators to do so. This puts President Obama just one vote shy of the 34 he will need to sustain his promised veto of a bill that would block the nuclear deal. Congress will vote on that bill later this month. Senator Ben Cardin of Maryland, the top Democrat on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, predicts all 30 34 votes will be lined up by week's end. A New York judge says he will rule by Friday whether New England Patriots quarterback Tom Brady must serve a four-game suspension for deflate gate. Judge Richard Berman had hoped that Brady and NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell would compromise. At issue is whether the NFL properly followed its collective bargaining agreement. News and analysis at townhall.com. I'm Keith Peters. Witnesses say fighters from the Al-Shabaab militant Islamist group have overrun an African Union military base in southern Somalia, inflicting heavy casualties. Al-Shabaab says it rammed the base with a car bomb in the early hours of the morning. Militants then stormed in and engaged in a fierce 40-minute firefight with Amisom. Al-Shabaab says about 50 Ugandan troops were killed inside the base. Others drowned in a nearby river as they tried to escape. Amisom denies it has lost control of the base. But witnesses say they saw African Union troops moving out. BBC correspondent Mary Harper reporting. Hungary stunned migrants and European partners by blocking asylum seekers from its westbound trains, a move that raised new challenges for the EU's passport-free travel zone. Hungary's nationalist government defended its U-turn just days after it started permitting migrants on the trains without any coherent immigration controls at all. More on these stories at townhall.com. The human body is more than 60% water. Your brain and muscles are 75% water and your blood is 92% water. Water is vital to your body, and alkalizing your water is the key to keep it running at its best. AlkaVision Plasma pH drops keep your entire body healthy, boosts energy, promotes weight loss, and even fights cancer. Call 800-518-7615 or go to AlkaVision.com to find out more. That's A-L-K-A-Vision.com. You are an individual with your own thoughts, decisions, and actions. So why should you be penalized for not enrolling in the subpar health insurance mandated by the government? Be truly independent. Visit libertyoncall.org. Libertyoncall.org is a bold, innovative alternative allowing you to take back control and make your own decisions about your health care. Mention this ad when you call to learn more. 800-714-6993. That's 800-714-6993. Libertyoncall.org. Call today. Free Talk Live. 
It is Free Talk Live, and you are invited to join us here on the radio waves to bring up whatever you want. We still have to talk about this Jesus being a socialist thing. I guess that was the very beginning of the show. That I, I said I guess because I actually wasn't here for it. I was at a board meeting, and uh, Conan and Mark, thank you for holding down the, uh, the fort. Appreciate that. The board Our, make it, meeting makes it sound so official. It was. It's an official board meeting of the Cheshire TV board. There wasn't a big a mahogany desk or uh, cigars being smoked. or You, you know, shouldn't anything. smoke. We actually had this board meeting in the studio, so you generally wouldn't want to smoke cigars in a uh, TV studio. It's not good to have smoke penetrating your electronic equipment. No, it's, it's bad news. Make it die sooner when you do those sorts of things. So, yeah, definitely keep smoking out of electronics. Uh, studios. Anyway, our toll-free number tonight, 855-450-FREE. So Jesus will come back to him here in a moment. And uh, it is Ian Conan and Mark in the studio with you. Let's go first to start things out to the phones and the fun. Ernest is in Ohio. You're on Free Talk Live. Ernest. Uh, yes, sir. Well, Jesus definitely would not have been a socialist. Because when you read the Bible, God's an equal, equal opportunist. He said, whosoever will let him come. God has no respect to persons. And when it comes down to work, he said, if a man doesn't work, he shouldn't eat. And the sleep of a laboring man is sweet. If a man doesn't work, he shouldn't eat. Yeah, that would definitely not be a socialist statement. Does uh, not sound like a socialist statement. (laughs) Uh, What side of the the Bible were those from? That sounds Old Testament to me. (laughs) Well, that's New Testament. That was one of the writings of Paul. Okay, if gotcha. If man okay. doesn't work, it should not eat. Yeah, because because usually the New Testament is a little more. Uh, uh, it's not as fire and brimstone, and there's not as much as we're gonna. You know, you, you know, from the sweat of your brow and all that. It's all about love your neighbor, and so it's a much much more uplifting. Well, that's because people they they do they preach a conceptualized gospel. They go in there and get a couple of scriptures, and they preach the concept. They don't preach the totality of what it says. Hmm. You have to preach the totality of what it says. And another example, when Jesus was on the earth, there were a group of people that were following him, he said, because they followed him for many days and had not eaten, he had compassion on them. But here's what happened. He took a young man there who had three fishes and two loaves, and he took it, he blessed it, and he multiplied it, and he fed a whole group of 5,000 people. But when you read further, you see this. He said... They left off following him because the only reason they followed him was for the fishes and the loaves. And Jesus never performed another miracle for that group. Hmm. The reason being is because their motive changed. They were not following him for the inspiration that was in his mouth. They only followed him because now we think we can get a free lunch from him forever. So what, so what you're saying is Jesus pulled a Bernie Sanders. <laughs> <laughs> well, for an instant. For an instant. And then he decided, you know what? Nope, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. That don't yeah. work. <laughs> Jesus figured out figured out pretty quickly, just like uh, everybody does, that socialism doesn't work. Well, it's it, easier it on an individual work. basis. People keep believing that socialism can work, Mark. They'll say things like, oh, well, Venezuela is not doing it right. Mm. You just need to have me in charge. You just need well, to get you seem to get the corporate fat cats out of control of government. And once you get that, once the once the control goes back to the people, Ian... Then it'll be all uh, roses and red, roses and 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 good stuff and good stuff. <laughs> so <laughs> kitty cats is what I, I was looking for. Yeah, I'm not going to argue with a socialist about their views, but I will argue with them if they decide to say that Jesus was a socialist. There's just no evidence that Jesus advocated for state ownership of the means of production. There's no adv- um, evidence that Jesus advocated for forced wealth redistribution. Forced wealth de- redistribution is going to require force. <laughs> Right, and you're gonna to force, force. Yeah, you're gonna have to have force of arms, and Jesus is never going to do that. That yeah, doesn't sound like something the Prince of Peace would actually do. No. But there are a lot of people who are confused, Mark. I mean, there are. So well, for that's because Jesus advocated for the poor, and certainly, yeah. if your concerns are for the poor, you have some similar concerns as to what Jesus has. But this is not the same thing. Well, like uh, like a lot of the Quakers or the Unitarians, they believe they're for peace, but at the same time, they also support the state. And so they don't see the contradiction. No, they there. do not. So, uh, hey, thanks, Ernest. Great thoughts tonight, man. I appreciate hearing from you. Let's go to Dave in New York. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Dave. Hi, guys. How you doing? Hey, what's on your mind tonight? Uh, well, I would like to formally apologize to a certain radio station out in Columbus, Ohio. No, or what is the point of that? calling a nationally syndicated talk radio show to apologize to a radio station in Ohio? 
Uh, I just want to apologize for my actions for what I did to them to piss them off. I just want to call up and apologize. But to, why I, I wouldn't you listening. call and apologize this, to the station or to, to call and apologize to the disc jockey or whoever it was that you upset? Because there is no phone. There, there is no phone number for the station, you know. So Is I, this I an they, internet they, radio station or an actual yes. broadcast radio station? Why don't you send them it's an a, email then and apologize? I've I've tried whatever, so I figured maybe if I call up Free Talk Live and do it on the air, it, it, he would, you know. Well, it is. Well, an, what are you it, hoping to get out of this apology? It sounds like you're trying to you're maneuvering for something. What are you maneuvering for? Well, all I want to do is I want to get back on on this guy's good side, and I'm hoping that maybe he's listening and that maybe he can unblock me from his chat, unblock from the station, <laughs> so I can listen again. You know. You want to get unblocked I, from I the chat? Oh yeah, that's right. This is the station that you've called about before that actually took the step of blocking you from their streaming server. They blocked Dave's IP address <laughs> to where he can't even listen to the station anymore. They have if 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 he makes a request of this radio station server, it will bounce back as unavailable because he has been completely blocked. Like well, you know well, well why would they do that, Ian? They tell so Dave, why why were you blocked? I'm in, I'm curious. Uh, or, or, or because you know some some guy named Mook H or Mike H, he entered the chat room. He said something about me and it pissed me off. And I started, you know. He didn't and, call and you a Luke, pedophile, and, did and he? Luke H, whatever. No, no, no. But like a Mook H, Mike H, did he? Said, all I want is for Bob and the Black Boots to unblock me from the radio station so I can listen to his. Uh, I don't think it's going to happen. I mean, I, 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 I'm glad that you wanted to apologize, uh, and we know that this guy actually listens because he curiously calls the show immediately after you do. <laughs> the last two times that uh, that you've called, and I'm, I'm calling conspiracy, man. This it is, is this weird. is very strange. It, it really is. And and so why you know you would feel the need to not contact them via email or you said you you tried that but that didn't work. Yeah, I, I tried. You know, I've, I've emailed them whatever. All, all I want is can I, you I read the email? Can you read the contents of the email that that you sent? Uh, yeah, I, I can read it. But like, tell I'm you what, right while now, you pull but, up um, that email, can you put your girlfriend on the phone because you called uh, Chris Cantwell's show last week when I was on Radical Agenda, and you mentioned you dropped the information that you happen to now have a girlfriend. And that's great news. I'm really glad to hear that. I mean, there's, uh, you know, it's it's something that can can ground a man to uh, to have a girlfriend in in a lot of ways. It's good for his welfare. So, <laughs> yeah. And uh, I guess uh, Dave, you know, tell me a little bit about the girlfriend. Is she there? Can we talk to her? Uh, she's not here right now. But uh, all I want is for hmm. Bob and the Black Boots what's to accept name? my apology. What's her, what's her name? What's your girlfriend's uh, name? I want Bob and the Black Boots to apologize to accept my apology <laughs> so that. So that he he can unblock me from the radio station, and I want Gina uh, uh, to right. to accept my apology. You know, thank you, Dave. Oh, thank you so them. much for that. You know? I really appreciate it. Toll free number tonight eight fifty five four fifty free. That's a nice gesture. You know, I don't hmm. know if I've heard Dave apologize uh, for anything before. Yeah, um, I'm from down south, he, and uh, we've got words for folks like David. Uh, Dave, uh, I believe they call him an idiot down there. That's not very nice. I've never heard that before. You've never heard idiot. I have, but it's not a that southern often. colloquialism for idiot. I heard a lot of jabroni. I don't know what that is. That's something that The Rock says, and I always thought that it was something my dad made up. And I never heard and, either and of those. You never heard idiot or jabroni? No. I don't know anything about jabroni either. I mean, I heard jabroni when The Rock said it, but I never heard it as like a thing in the South. Oh, I was one my whole life. You were a jabroni? <laughs> <laughs> Every time I got in trouble. But so there you uh, go. no, so yeah, so he must really like that st that radio station, and he's you know he's it's he's going current. to these to these extremes uh, to uh, make peace with this disc jockey. Uh, he must it must be a good. He state. wouldn't. There's a bunch of people that can listen to everybody can listen to that radio station except Dave because yeah. those people don't start out as an a hole to begin with, mm. right? Like Dave's default right. way of being is a hole. And then he doesn't seem to know another way. Right. That's so true. he wouldn't have to go on national radio and attempt to his last ditch resort to get be able to listen to this station that he wants to listen to <laughs> so badly, which I mean, like there's a bunch of other stations out there that he could listen to. But he wants to listen to this one because you know, he's being told he can't. If Dave had pro XPN, he could listen to that radio mm -hmm. station. Yeah, he could. Mm -hmm. He'd go to the library and listen to it on his laptop. Could do it that way. ProXPN.com. Use code FTL50, Dave. And then you can, every time you uh, get, you, they'd have to keep banning you because every time you connect to ProXPN, you get different IP addresses and you can also use different servers. And they'll never stop you then, Dave. <laughs> All right. 855-450-free. 
We'll talk about Jesus coming up. It's Free Talk Live. Was he a socialist, an anarchist, or what? Are you suffering with hearing loss? Are you sick of people constantly complaining that your TV is too loud? Are you tired of asking people to speak up? Would you like to hear more clearly, but you don't want to wear a hearing aid that makes you look old? Then you need to try Listen Clear, a life-changing breakthrough precisely designed by top audio engineers to fit your ear almost invisibly. And you can adjust Listen Clear to find the perfect way to hear everything, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. And right now you can try Listen Clear absolutely risk-free with free shipping. We'll even give you free batteries for life. So call now, 1-800-719-9349. Listen Clear is lightweight and completely hassle-free, and it's practically invisible. Call for your 100% risk-free home trial with free shipping and free batteries for life. For free information, call now, 1-800-719-9349. That's 1-800-719-9349. 1-800-719-9349. Sciatica, lower back pain, hip pain, poor posture. If you suffer from any of these problems, get ready to relax. Introducing an amazing product that's been in the market for over 25 years, the Sacro Wedgie. It was invented by a football coach using a common sense osteopath technique. He created this device to help his athletes by isolating and supporting the sacrum, which is the keystone of our anatomy. This wedge-shaped bone is in the center of our hips, where a lot of pain starts. Simply relax 20 minutes daily on the amazingly simple Sacro Wedgie and let gravity do the work, helping muscles rebalance and start releasing nerves. Sit in the sacro wedgie at the computer or while traveling to help correct posture to finally help relieve those stubborn aches and pains for only $33.95. It's made in the USA, so click the family-owned website at sacrowedgie.com spelled S-A-C-R-O-W-E-D-G-Y dot com or call one 7 <laughs> 737-9295 Relax your back pain away with the sacro wedgie. Do you owe the IRS money? Has the IRS garnished your wages or put a lien against your house? The IRS has the power to make you pay back what they claim you owe and will stop at nothing to collect. There is a solution. Call Signature Tax now. Speak with our professionals and feel the weight of your tax burden lifted from your shoulders. Call now for your free and confidential analysis. 800-481-3147. Again, that's 800-481-3147. 800-481-3147. Making the right decisions is a challenge to investors. Are we going to see economic growth, slide into a recession, or at worst, depression? Hi, Ted Anderson from Midas Resources. We all know when a company acts irresponsibly, divesting ourselves in a move towards safety is prudent. When the market becomes volatile, U.S. Treasuries are a safe haven. But what do you do when the U.S. government overextends itself and spends beyond its means? Many investors are turning toward gold as a common-sense alternative to traditional paper investments. Midas Resources has put together a powerful book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, discussing costs, benefits, risks, featuring full-color illustrations, weights, and measures. The book is free and can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. Paper investments are dwarfed by gold's 6,000-year history. Discover how gold may be right for you and your IRA by calling 800-686-2237. Whether buying or it's time for you to sell, the book is free. Call 800-686-2237. Hi, this is Ted Anderson, have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. Now, more Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. Yeah! It's Free Talk Live. You, of course, can join us here live on the radio waves at 855 450 Free. That's 855-450-3733. We've got Skype, so you may Skype on into the show here. Skype username is lrn.fm. And joining you in studio tonight, you've got Ian. And Conan. And Mark. Have you yet gone to saveatpurse.com and begun the process of getting to the point where you can save 20 to 25% 
off of your purchases at Amazon. Maybe even more. These headphones I'm wearing, I saved 29% off the already incredibly low Amazon price. You can uh, save big time. The catch is you have to have Bitcoin. So get started right now at saveatpurse.com. Whether or not you've got the Bitcoin yet, you can go and get started and learn how it works there. It's very, very simple. Um, and then when you're ready to get Bitcoin, we can tell you how to do that a little bit later as well. So save at purse.com if you want to save 20, 25 percent, maybe even more on your Amazon purchases. If you've ever been to Amazon, you already know they've got great prices. So imagine saving another 25 percent off of those. Save at purse.com as we go to your calls and thoughts. Aaron is on the line uh, via Skype. Hello, Aaron. Hey, Ian, Mark, uh, Conan. Hey. Uh, I was listening the uh, other night about. Uh the wi save Wi-Fi, and Mark didn't seem to think he needed to worry about it. Yeah, well, I mean, the problem with this save Wi-Fi thing is uh, that, you know, we've had a couple guys call in about it over the last few days, and obviously to the techno geek community, this is a big deal. Uh, but it's hard to really explain, especially for a techno geek, it's hard to explain to a layperson why this is so important. And I don't think that they have done a good job at that. I mean, I've I've done my best to try to explain it to Mark as well, and I think the last caller, I think you kind of got it, Mark, to some extent. I think I got it then. I yeah. did actually go to SaveWiFi.org, and I did do what they had suggested to do there and contact the FCC. Uh, but Aaron, if you want to take a crack at explaining in simple to understand terms, briefly, because uh, we don't have time for a you know full you know detail symposium. symposium on why. Uh, why it's important to have uh, the consumer to have access to the firmware of the uh, the operating the firmware behind their router. Uh, if you could make that exp uh, explanation brief and understandable, that'd be great. <laughs> um, I don't care so much about the why you need to have access to that, but why why does the government need to have access to that? They seem to be putting this into place because they want to control those devices somehow. Well, I, I know my phone goes off the hook at least uh, every week or so with the uh, the amber alerts here in the area or flash uh. floods. So I know what they're going to say. They're going to say we need, because because no one has cell phones anymore, they all have Wi-Fi, we need to have access to the Wi-Fi so that we can get the emergency broadcast out there you know, quicker than quick, mm. just like that, so everyone's up, up, to, up, to, uh, up to date on the, uh, uh, they could. what's going on out there. They'll, they'll give lots of reasons as to why. And most people say, oh, well, they're watching internet traffic or they're watching cell phone usage because they want to catch criminals and I'm not a criminal. And maybe you can say, well, maybe you don't know what law you're breaking. But when it, it comes down to it, the real value is not just in that, but to the government, it's in the stuff that you'll never know about. The demographic data that they collect, that they tried to collect with the census data and they try to collect through door-to-door -door knocking or any forms that you fill out of the government – they want this demographic data to, to gerrymander districts to try and figure out where they can get certain people elected. And you're just handing them the data of where you go to the doctor, what you shop for, what political affiliations you have, web searches, everything that goes through your router can be accessed by these people and collected in bulk and statistically analyzed to decide what campaigns to run where and all kinds of things in order to keep themselves in power. Well, um, yeah, who, who's going to, who's going to get in power besides them? Uh, yeah, that's, that's a good point. It's more, I guess, about them defeating someone else who you're probably not going to be satisfied with either. The people in power, keeping other people who want power, who are probably no better than the ones in power. You know, if they're, if they're not going to do all this data collection, who is Google? I mean, I hope they already are, aren't they? So, I mean, yeah, there's there's always going to be some uh, powerful uh, corporation out there who uses this data to their advantage, whether it's to sell you new things or to figure out, like you said, if it, the, the government's going to do it so they can gerrymander. That makes perfect sense to me. Google's going to use it so they know what ads to send you so they can make more money off their uh, off their ads. So uh, you want people to go to savewifi.org and follow the instructions there, Aaron? No, no, I, I no. mean... I don't care. You don't if, care. I think Pro well, if you don't XPN care, why, is more valuable. Well, it, um, wait, if you don't care, why are you calling about it? Oh, I just I just want people to bring up the motivation behind it. I think that 
the motivation behind the government trying to control devices like this? Yeah, every law that the government tries to pass like this, there's a reason they're trying to do it. Think about why they're trying to do it. And don't just think about, oh, they're trying to catch criminals because they're paragons of virtue. Hmm. Think about the selfish interest behind it as well. And then you might start to see why you want to be concerned about it. Well, that's but a you're good not idea. concerned about it? Um, no, I'll always find a way around it. Uh, well, that's what I was asking the guy who called the other night, Hassan. You know, like, well, won't the techno nerds figure out a way around whatever the hell it is they put into place? I mean, I trust in the geeks, uh, but he gave me this, you know, explanation of uh, some sort of cryptography that would prevent uh, anybody from modifying their firmware on their routers and such. But I guess that's, some, that's a bridge to be crossed when, when we come to it. I did go ahead and take the time to go to savewifi.org, and I went, I jumped through the hoops, and I submitted a public comment to the FCC. Not that I really think it's going to matter in the long run, but, you know, it did only take Enough a moment. Enough negative public comments to the FCC would make a big difference. People don't comment on their things. There you go. It's Save yep. Wi-Fi. Thanks. Hey, Aaron, before I let you go, uh, you actually went to the latest, I think it was the most recent, Keenvention, right, last year? Yes. How, you, how was it? It was awesome. Uh, <laughs> it was a fabulous opportunity to get to shake your hand and to meet some of the people that I only hear about. And I did some cop blocking. I did some Robin Hooding. I got some hands on with some some real activism that uh, my me and my son both enjoyed. My son, man, he was his mind was blown by that. He got some real experience with uh, police for the first time. He'd never seen a police officer arrest somebody until Keenvention. Oh, yeah, yeah, because you guys went down to the college neighborhood. Yeah, and that made a real big impression on him. He never, like, he had been indoctrinated within the public school system, and to see what, when the rubber hit the road, what it looked like to see someone get arrested for being drunk because they were too young. Hmm. And uh, it, it really Shocker. helped him to understand the violence of the state. Cool, so you would recommend others uh, attend Keenvention if they can. Oh, absolutely. Fantastic. Absolutely. Aaron, thanks for coming on uh, Free Talk Live tonight. Appreciate the call tonight. Our uh, toll-free number, if you want to join us, is 855-450-FREE. And if you want to go to Keenvention 2015, the third annual Keenvention, it's coming up. We are literally two months away from Keenvention 2015. It is a great event. It's very intimate. It's easy to meet the, the names that you hear so often here on Free Talk Live. Lots of great folks from LRN.FM are going to be there uh, presenting panels, uh, doing keynote speeches. There's all kinds of fun things to attend, like uh, Conan threw a bonfire last year, and there's the Halloween dance party. We'll be talking about all kinds of different activism. It's a New Hampshire activist-thrown, activist-focused uh, convention. You can go for just 60 bucks for the entire weekend, which is pretty awesome for a convention price tag. So go and learn more at keenvention.info. Keenvention.info. Actually, now you can sign up and receive emails every time the site gets new blog posts on it, which is oh, pretty cool. cool. Yeah, so keenvention.info. More free talk live coming up. We, we, we are a survival company. We manufacture our own line of level 3 and level 3A body armor. We proudly make our armor 100% in America. We have the best prices in the nation, about $125 cheaper than our nearest competitor. All lab certified, for thou art my rock and my fortress. Psalm 31.3. We are Fortress Survival LLC. Dot, dot, dot com. Are your Google search results killing you? Unflattering content in blogs, news articles, online reviews, social media, or other sources can jeopardize your reputation, your business, and your livelihood. Let Reputation.com help. Our patented technology will make the truth about you more visible while pushing down unwanted negative content. Improve your Google search results. Call Reputation.com at 1-800-831-0771 for a free consultation. That's 800-831-0771. It's time to build your own emergency food stockpile with the industry leader, My Patriot Supply. Once you try them, you'll know why so many Americans like you have made them part of their emergency preparedness plan. Experience the My Patriot Supply difference today with this unbelievable offer. Right now, a four-week food supply is only $99, and that includes free shipping. That's 50% off the online price. Call 800-274-3070 to claim yours. Limit two per 
caller while supplies last. This offer isn't available online, so you want to make sure and grab this opportunity to get prepared today. 800-274-3070 to get your four-week food supply for the incredible price of only $99, and it'll be shipped to you completely free. Call 800-274-3070 right now. That's 800-274-3070 to claim yours while supplies last. Don't wait. Call today. Okay, open your mouth and say, ah. Ah. When your child has a sore throat, you need to know when to get help. The doctor recommended Say Ah Sore Throat Exam is your solution. The scientifically designed oral retractor offers a clear view of the throat, relaxing the tongue and minimizing gag reflex. Compare with a medical grade chart, website, and app. Then you'll know just what to tell your doctor. A wellness plan in your hands in minutes. Go to sayahnow.com. Sayahnow.com, the new mainstay for every family's first aid kit. Extend your life with Extend Ovite. Hey neighbor, what are you doing digging? You had a heart attack last year. Oh, I know. I was told no more hard labor. Then why are you digging? Well, I've been taking Extendivite. It's been approved to help my heart. Extendivite? Is that a new drug? No, not a drug. It's uh, more like an herbal combination made from garlic and cayenne. Herbal? How can that help? Well, actually, we've taken herbs for thousands of years, and Extendivite is doing the job for me. Does your doctor know about Extendivite? Yeah, my doctor knows, and he said it seems to be working for you, so don't stop taking it. I feel great taking Extendivite. I don't want to stop. To order, call 1-877-928-8822. That's 1-877-928-8822, or visit our website at heartdrop.com. Extend your life with we use mobile devices right against our bodies every day, but growing scientific evidence has emerged showing serious health risks associated with exposure to EMF radiation emitted from these devices. The solution is Defender Shield, the most effective mobile radiation shielding ever developed. Defender Shield blocks virtually 100% of EMF radiation from cell phones, tablets, and laptops and starts at just $64.99. Buy now at DefenderShield.com. For 10% off, use promo code GCN. DefenderShield.com, the worldwide leader in mobile radiation shielding. This is Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. Hey, it's Free Talk Live. You can join us here. Toll-free number, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Uh, whatever you want to discuss goes here, and with you in the studio tonight, you do have Ian. And Conan. And Mark. Mark, tell me about an alternative to health insurance. Yeah, Liberty Health Share. For my family, this has been really the solution to Obamacare. Um, I think uh, last year you had to pay $900 if you uh, filed taxes and uh, didn't have Obamacare or some kind of insurance. Well, this year I believe that number is going to double, um, and Whoa. it can be, and, and it's just going to get higher and higher. As time goes by, um, well, S such is the nature of the parasite, Mark. <laughs> health shares have been around for a very long time, and they are completely within the, un, you know, completely acceptable under the uh, Affordable Care Act. And I enjoyed one, Liberty Health Share, and it is they cover you. You choose your own doctor, you choose your own hospital, you live out your values in healthcare. You can join the movement and change healthcare for good. LibertyHealthShare.org. And the number is 855-58-LIBERTY, libertyhealthshare.org, 855-58-LIBERTY. If you pay for your insurance, it is worth going there. I think the costs for us were just a little over um, half of uh, what we were quoted. So 855-58-LIBERTY, libertyhealthshare.org. So our toll-free number here is 855-450-FREE. Conan, you wanted to comment on this Jesus thing. Y'all started the show out with a discussion over, some, I guess somebody was claiming Jesus was a socialist or something. Not, not you guys, but somebody somewhere. It, it, there are a lot of internet pictures with, with messages on them, memes, mm -hmm. that, uh, it, that are proclaiming the idea that Sanders might have said Jesus was a socialist. Uh-huh. And then there's a response to that, of course. And uh, 
Well, uh, I looked it up. I couldn't find it anywhere. It looks like one of his supporters might have said this. So you're saying you could not find evidence that Bernie Sanders made that claim. Right. And I don't okay. think he ever will make that claim because that'll put him in hot water. It'd be dumb. It'd be, yeah. <laughs> so, but as long as one, but if one of his supporters wants to say that, then, hey, that's well, I'll go with mm-hmm. it. Or Bernie will say, I yeah. will go with that. Uh, but the idea that Jesus is a socialist, uh, you know, if you want socialism, look at Venezuela right now. And Jesus, oh, yeah, we talked Jesus about them would, last night. Jesus would not have ever uh, uh, given any proclamations that that was the way to do business, that you farmers need to give up your food to the state so that the state can redistribute it among all the poor people. He would never say he would never said that. Now go now turn the cheek, go and help your poor brother out, do everything that you can. Uh, you know, said that, give yeah. all your money to the poor. He, he might have said that, but he wouldn't have said, hey, Caesar. Give all your money to Caesar so that Caesar can redistribute your wealth to the poor. Never. Never would have said that. In fact, there's a great passage that we we started on. Uh, Mark has his interpretation. I have mine. Uh, where I believe under. that it r- really proclaims Jesus is an anarchist. And that's render under Caesar what is Caesar's? Correct. And then the second passage is give unto God what is God's. But it's but you're right. He what The passage is brought to this. This is brought to Jesus the, from by the Pharisees. They're trying to catch him in the act. Because they know he's probably going to say something like, no, no, don't pay your taxes. Don't pay your tribute to Caesar. And if they can get him saying that, they can have him crucified right there in the moment. All they got to do is go back and tell, hey, uh, Caesar, this is what he said. I think this was the Sadducees that were trying to get him to say that. Um, there's the Pharisees a, in this passage. So I'm not, that, and I'm not sure what the I got it wrong. But I'm not sure what the difference between them are. Uh, basically, the Sadducees were uh, Romans supported. They were um, the high priest and his, uh, his cronies. The uh, Pharisees were generally just community teachers. Hmm. Well, the first thing he says to these guys is, hey, look, bring me a denarii. And they brought him out one. By the way, Jesus didn't have one on him. And they, uh, he says, all right, whose picture is on the, on the coin? And they're like, well, it's Caesar's. And he's like, all right, well, render unto Caesar what is his and render unto God what is his. And so, all right, so uh, uh, honest, uh, patriotic American taxpayer will see that passage. And what's he going to think? He's going to pay think, taxes. He's gonna, yeah, he's like, well, Jesus just said you need to pay taxes. But that's not what he said. First of all, he didn't say yes or no. So he so he he kept right. it up in the air. For, for first of all, he he asked whose picture was on it, and Caesar's picture's on it. That's really irrelevant. When I have a one dollar bill, George Washington's picture's on it. Um, his um, his estate isn't coming after me for his dollar, mm-hmm. um, and the federal government doesn't own that dollar. I do. And so when Jesus tells me to render under the federal government what is the federal government's, I'm happy to do that, but this dollar bill isn't theirs. Mm -hmm. I think they would claim it is theirs. Well, yeah, the Federal Reserve would say that, yeah, you can't put your stamp all over Hamilton's face in sure uh, I can. because you're defacing the do- the the, two, uh, the $10 bill and uh, now it can't be you, you're you're defacing it. You've only well, defaced it if you actually obscure to the point where you can't uh, identify the serial number. Well now if I put my stamp on it and Mark puts his stamp on it, you know, how many more stamps is it going to take and Let's it will, find it out. Will, we we will deface the crap out of it. <laughs> so um I have uh, filed taxes when I worked for I worked with an organization called the International Barter Exchange in Sarasota, Florida. Yeah. And that is that organization says, you know, because the the rules are that you've got to claim on your taxes anything that goes through this organization. So I at no point was I doing cash business with them, but I was taxed on the value that I got from the International Barter Exchange. So, but if you hadn't sent in voluntarily the amount of business you did with them, would the IRS ever have known? I didn't send it in. They sent it in. Oh, they did. They do that business. Oh, but that's what too I, bad. the point I'm trying to make is is that the federal government doesn't care what picture is on the dollar bill. They want whatever exchange of value is going on out there. If your bitcoins, which have never turned into dollars, uh, you know, go up in value, then they expect you to pay them on that. <laughs> they don't care whose picture is on the dollar bill, Ian. They care how much value has been created. Let's go to the phones. Uh, we can continue talking about Jesus here. We got Andy in Texas. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Andy. Hey, how are you guys doing? Welcome, sir. You're on the air. Hey, I, you know, I got a little issue with this, uh, this Jesus person. Uh, you know, first of all, the Bible's written by man. Man is fallible. And uh, our history is written by man. And as you can see, if you've ever been in school or college or whatnot, History is not what it is made up to be. If you research it, you find out that what you're learning as history is not really history. And basically, the Bible is just a history book. There's nothing in the Old Testament that says anything about Jesus coming in the New Testament. 
and the New Testament was probably added afterwards. All I'm saying is, is that I think the Bible was a manipulative tool. I agree. Uh, it was a very nice, flowery, a manipulative tool that the that the people in power used to keep the rabble in check, especially the Old Testament, by the way. The Old Testament was a way for the well, elder for the elders to control the judges and the elders to control the the rabble who believed in everything. The, uh, you know, you know, they they believe, there were multiple gods floating around during those times, and one of the gods brought the sun out, and one brought the moon out, and they had all kinds of weird ideas. And, exactly, and and there's a lot of indications that the son of God was the actual sun. You know, there, because, there is a lot I mean, of evi- sun, uh, evidence of that. The yeah. sun warmed the. The sun warmed the waters so the fish could could live. Yeah, there are a the lot of. The sun also brought uh, the ripe, ripened the grapes so that the wine could be made, and so this and the wheat could be uh, harvested and stuff. And so we're saying this guy brought you know bread and fish and wine to all the people who were poor and stuff. Well, the son of God, the sun, that big illuminated object in the sky, that was the son of God. And the, and and the ancient people worshipped the sun, and like you said, they they the other people worshipped the moon. And when Saturn was closer to our our world, some people worshipped Saturn. And in fact, a lot of the people say that the the idiots running our country right now they still worship Saturn because of their little robes and stuff. There's a whole bunch of stuff I could go into, but the whole point is is that who are we to even think that uh, history is what it is? Uh, we weren't there to see it, and so we have to believe all these people who wrote this stuff down and this whole faith thing and stuff. And then let's look at the first commandment, there shall be no God before me. And many of these Christian churches put Jesus before God, or they put him equally. And I don't think God intended there shall be no uh, God before me. I don't think he intended that you should put somebody equal with me either. And Jesus prayed, giving evidence that uh, Jesus sort of wasn't God, right? I, yeah, I, I, I don't think he was. I don't think he was God's son. To be honest with well, you, I, think I, I, was, I, I would, would say as, as much God's son as I am. Yeah, I mean, certainly the exactly. uh, the Muslims exactly. would say that's that he was point. a prophet. That uh, Jesus was one of uh, a I don't really care of, what the Muslims say either. of prophets. <laughs> hey, thanks for the call tonight, Andy. I appreciate hearing from you. Religion is regarded by the common people as true, by the wise as false, and by the rulers as useful. Mm. Mm. All right. Oh, well, I have a religion, and I don't religion's think different than a be- faith-based belief system. Okay. Uh, we can talk about that. Religion's established. 855 450 free. Every once in a while, you get information that's worth changing your life for. This is one such time. You can save up to and beyond 25% on all purchases at Amazon. You probably heard of Bitcoin and just not thought much about it. You certainly know that you can get competitive pricing at Amazon, but now you can get a 25% discount on nearly everything you need to live. I've just given you a huge raise, and all you have to do is claim it. You go to purse.freetalklive.com and open an account. Do this right now. Don't wait. Then you fund the account with Bitcoin. You can buy them through expresscoin.com with a check or money order. There are other ways to get Bitcoin, but that's fast, safe, and easy. This information is worth you changing the way you do things. Go to purse.freetalklive.com right now and get signed up and cash in on the huge raise I'm offering you. 25% 25% off of everything on Amazon through purse.freetalklive.com. It's purse.freetalklive.com. Uh, no way. Is that a real bullet necklace? No, it's a 9mm bullet necklace with matching earrings, you'll notice. Those are awesome. Where'd you get them? Dave found them at patriotnecklace.com. Wow. They have a variety of calibers and necklaces and earrings and keychains. Patriotnecklace.com. Patriotnecklace.com. Your choice of caliber bullet includes a rugged American made stainless steel dog tag chain. A percentage of every sale goes to military and service related charities. And get a discount by entering GCN at checkout. Show your patriotism and support our troops with a bullet necklace from patriotnecklace.com. Healthy, organic, fresh fish, robust, mouth-watering vegetables, all from your home. It's called aquaponics. This brilliant, self-sustaining protein and veggie system is perfect for year-round growing. Know exactly where your food is coming from. Aquaponicsource.com is the one-stop shop for all your needs. Fish, fish food, plumbing, full systems, classes, and more. Learn to build your own system. Go to aquaponicsource.com for a free guide to aquaponics. That's aquaponicsource.com. Just recently, we've witnessed some of the most catastrophic. Hello, Michael. Hello. Hi, what is your topic and location? Uh, I'm in uh, Dayton, Ohio, and my topic was uh, a couple small topics. Um, 
old topics. You were talking about kissing children a while ago, and yep. I was just want to talk about Derek J. Great. Stand by. At survivalfoodalliance.com. Go to survivalfoodalliance.com or call 877-223-1776. Gold. It's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the re-emergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-223. For the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As good as gold can be yours by calling 800 686 2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800 686 2237. You're old enough to tell that something is definitely wrong. You've been paying attention for years and you're ready. You're probably frustrated because your children don't listen to your words of warning. What will you do when your grandkids show up hungry at your door? Get more food storage from Ready Supply Foods. We sell 50% more food for your dollar and we can prove it. See the comparisons for yourself at ReadySupplyFoods.com. We're the new leader in value and quality. Go to ReadySupplyFoods.com today. You're listening to Free Talk Live. Call in toll free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. This is Free Talk Live. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We've got Skype as well. Skype on into the show here at username lrn.fm. Coming up, is the FCC giving up on pirate radio? Oh, yeah. Oh, that'd be very nice. It would be very nice. We've We've got a good dozen or so stations here in the area that could get filled up real quick. Let's go first, though, to your calls and thoughts. We got Michael. He is in Ohio. Michael, you're on Free Talk Live via Skype. Hey, guys. Thanks for taking my call. Sure. Um, first, I just wanted to say I'm already missing Derek J uh, as oh, a co-host on the show. Me too. Yeah, I wish he, uh, uh, wish he was still on there. Did he Did he say he had any any plans for doing another, another show in his area, his new area? Derek is going to continue doing his shows, uh, uh, Flaming Freedom, on Thursday nights. He'll continue doing... Uh, cop block radio on wednesday nights mm. and uh, those are both you can oh, listen well, it to those sounds on, like he's still here with us actually yeah. you are you can listen to those on lrn.fm and he's still doing uh freedom fiends on late sunday night early monday morning so yes he is continuing his radio career for everybody who wants to continue uh listening to derek j derek j Freeman. good uh the other thing i wanted to bring up was uh i think last week or so you guys were talking about ch- kissing your children on the lips and uh, I have to say, I, I'm on the same side with Mark. Uh, and it's not really, it's mostly up to what my daughter, what she's comfortable with. Like, I'm not going to force her to kiss me on the lips. I complete. it's like when I have my daughter in front of me and I'm looking at her and she comes up to, to kiss me and she puts her, her lips out to kiss me. I'm not going to be like, no, nope, sorry, let me kiss you on the cheek, uh, daughter, move out of the way. I mean, it's just completely natural for me when I have her. I understand it sounds completely weird and not natural. Yeah, it's not, a, to it's do not that. an American it's, thing. It's sad that it, I, well, Mark, I, I'm American. <laughs> That's what you were referring to is Mark. Yeah. I think that uh, we wrote in an article, and I think that this is it's it's interesting because it sounds bad, right? Like you're tr- having to defend this, but the idea that you have to defend uh, affection to your children shows just how messed up people's uh, views of affection are. Well, it was Derek J I mean, who was super uncomfortable with it. I just it was weird. It's weird to me because I didn't. I wasn't yeah. raised that way. I wouldn't say it's right. bad or anything like well, that. Well, there seem to be t- three different camps. The yeah. yes, you should kiss your children on the lips. No, you shouldn't kiss your children on the lips. And the you should stop kissing at a certain age, um, mm. at on the lips. And I don't think it would be. It's whatever the child is comfortable with. So if the, if my child comes up to me and she wants to kiss me on the lips, and I'm not going to turn that away. What, right. I mean, whatever she wants to do, I'm going to make her feel comfortable in her home and what she's comfortable with. 
So, I mean, I, I don't want to turn her away for that. I want her to feel comfortable in my house. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah. I want to go real quick, if you don't mind. Uh, I wanted to bring up, uh, I don't know if anybody's brought it up on the show. I may have missed it. Uh, was the, uh, the agent that was on Ross Ulbricht uh, recently has uh, that stole the money, the Bitcoin from him, pretty much yep. had uh, admitted to guilt to doing to stealing that money. And I just don't understand why. I mean, he's already been put into jail. He's already been said, you know, no parole, you know, no chance for parole. So he has no other options, pretty much. Like the guy stole from the the case that obviously took all his uh, and and probably manipulated other evidence as well. Right. Yeah. There's a good chance like, of that. The the motive is all is all you know tw- tainted at that point. So uh, I mean, I just yeah. You're referring to the Ross Ulbricht case. Ross is the man who's in prison now for the rest of his life for running the Silk Road, an underground marketplace where all kinds of drugs and other things of interest uh, were sold. Uh, sort of a black market, basically. And Ross was the first person to really be targeted for this, and they made it a so-called example out of him and sentenced him to life in prison with with no possibility of parole. And now it turns out that, and they knew this during the trial, but the defense was prohibited from bringing it up. Uh, now it turns out that there were at least two of the federal agents who were involved, one secret, uh, secret Service agent, another a DEA agent, who were basically completely corrupt. They were stealing money uh, from the government, actually. Well, they were stealing Ross's money that the government had uh, had confiscated. And they were giving evidence against Ulbrich on the, on the, on, during trial. They, I don't know if they were both called, but... Uh, but I just don't least, see how they... They were how integral they in taking him down. They, uh, One of them actually had administrative access to the Silk Road, the website, and he could, in theory, go in and edit anything that he wanted to on that server, including chat logs, message logs, and whatever else to you know to make things look worse for Ross Ulbricht or whatever. So basically what like, you're pointing out— Like maybe out, throw an assassination attempt in there? Exactly. And so what you're pointing out here, Michael, is that uh, you know these guys, whatever evidence they were— con- Whatever evidence they had a hand in producing should be thrown out. Exactly. And, and he should at that point get a chance to uh, have a uh, appeal or something to get well, out. Well, he is appealing. But now he's I already mean, been— Ross is appealing. Well, I mean, so, I mean, the, the, oh, okay. you know you know those gears of justice turn super slowly. So eventually <laughs> I expect you'll hear an argument uh, about this at the appeals hearing, and this might be a reason to, at the very least— overturn the decision in the case and schedule a retrial uh, yeah. because you know they're not just going to let this go right like they're going to even if they get overturned this is going to come back and they're going to try him again and they'll see if they can get him the second time hey michael thanks for the call tonight man yeah, i sure. appreciate thanks, hearing from you if you want to support ross ulbricht his family does need help and you can because apparently hiring attorneys for federal criminal drug cases like this are fairly expensive is it freeross.org? Uh, freeross.org, that's right. And you can give uh, via Bitcoin, PayPal. I believe they'll take you a check if you, you know, whatever you've got. I'm sure they'll do their best to accept it. Freeross.org, I know they wanted to raise a few hundred thousand dollars, several hundred thousand dollars. They've raised like 300000 They need, you know, another few hundred thousand. So this is not a cheap thing mm. to pay these attorneys. Mm-hmm. Uh, but this is an important case. And actually, the Free State Project recently put out a video with Ross Ulbricht's mom. She was speaking at the Porcupine Freedom Festival this year. Uh, and she also spoke at Liberty Forum. So these are two great events that the Free State Project puts on on a yearly basis here in New Hampshire to attract people here to kind of check out New Hampshire and the community of activists that we have. Ross's mom, Lynn, was there, and she is a Free State Project participant. She signed up for the Free State Project, I think, over a year ago. It was actually, I think, at the last Porcupine Freedom Festival that she signed up for that. So, and I know that uh, if Ross could join us, he certainly would do so. But unfortunately, he's behind bars. And we've yet to actually hear what's going to happen to his cohorts. That's still up in the air. The sentencing for Andrew Michael Jones doesn't take place until October. And Andrew Jones was one of the administrators. He was known as Libertas, if I'm recalling. Wait, was he Libertas? I think he might have been Libertas. I don't remember exactly. I think he's. I think he was Libertas. Anyway, one of the uh, the top dog admins on the site, they took those guys down too, and their their cases aren't getting as much coverage and publicity. Um, 
I wonder if these two agents have anything to do with those cases as well, because good question. They, they might have figured it all. Well, we just lost two of our guys, so we yeah. need to just slow this down a little bit till we can figure another game plan out. Yeah, I wonder if that has affected what's going to happen with Andrew Jones's case, because my understanding he was going to be taking a plea deal, and so I wonder if you can back out of that. Like, whoa, well, evidence was tainted. Maybe mm-hmm. we don't want to take this mm-hmm. plea deal after all. Uh, so if you have heard anything else you want to share with us on those any of those cases, you're welcome to join us here toll-free at 855-450-FREE. Of course, the black market on the Internet continues on unabated. Uh, there are now more underground marketplaces than there were during the Silk Road days. There are more listings, I think, now online of drugs and things like that uh, than there were previously. Yeah, prohibition and doesn't work. Sorry, guys. It sure doesn't. Sorry, people in power. Yeah, they can keep taking them out. You know, they can keep targeting these sites, and they have. They the feds have taken out uh, several sites, and like I said, many of these other guys aren't getting I any heard attention. Them do it in a while, though. They haven't. Uh... It's been a little bit. There was a major takedown where they struck several different sites at once a few months back, several mm-hmm. months ago. Uh, but yeah, I haven't heard of anything since then. There have been a couple of sites that have shut down operations, just basically taken the cash or taken the Bitcoin from people and ran. Uh, so that's happened. So there are these exit scams, as they're called. Uh, basically, if you're using one of these online websites to buy things, you, you're essentially taking the risk that the whole thing's going to disappear tomorrow because of the feds or because of an exit scam. There was, uh, to Agora's credit, we did talk about Agora here on Free Talk Live as a possible replacement to the Silk Road. Because uh, the Silk Road brand is is basically done for. There is a Silk Road 3.0, but if you think that that's a safe website to uh, to use, then you weren't paying attention to Silk Road 1 and 2. Silk Road 2.0 was launched with a federal agent as one of the administrators <laughs> from day number one. So the Silk Road 3.0 really isn't doing very well at all, but Agora Marketplace had been the top dog for a long time. Uh, basically, ever since Silk Road was taken down, Agora rose to prominence and just within the last couple of weeks, there, were, there was actually a headline a few days ago. Agora put up a notice on their website saying that withdraw your funds now, we're shutting the site down. So mm. unlike a lot of other sites that have just closed up shop and taken the Bitcoin with them, these guys actually gave their customers and their sellers mm. a chance to withdraw the, their Bitcoin from the site. Uh, and I, I don't know if the site's still up or not, but that was the, the headline the other day. And so if you got money in agora you might want to check that uh so there's more coming up you can share your thoughts here on free talk live are you searching for your soulmate someone you can trust who will never betray you or cooperate with the nsa stop searching with easy dns you found a keeper easy dns does it all domain names web hosting and managed wordpress hosting easy dns stands up for your internet freedom and with servers in canada they do not cooperate with the nsa go to easydns.com you'll love their services or get a full refund they guarantee it and they accept bitcoin that's easydns.com i wish i could fall asleep jennifer had a stressful day and now her mind is spinning at bedtime I have a big day tomorrow. It's time for new Unisom Sleep Minis. The tiny capsules are non-habit forming and work fast. They're the little help busy people need to get a good night's sleep and wake recharged. (sighs) Good night. New Unisom Sleep Minis. A stressful day deserves a restful night. Use as directed. Active ingredient diphenhydramine hydrochloride. Do you owe the IRS money? Do you have years of unfiled returns? Has the IRS garnished your wages or put a lien against your house? The IRS has the power to make you pay back what they claim you owe and will stop at nothing to collect. If you are losing sleep over your IRS tax problem, there is a solution. Call Signature Tax now. Speak with our professionals and feel the weight of your tax burden lifted from your shoulders. Call 800-643-4661 for your free and confidential analysis on ending your tax nightmare. We can help get your life back on track and give you the fresh start you deserve. Our A-plus BBB-rated tax resolution team has over 125 years of combined experience to get you the best deal possible while stopping the IRS dead in their tracks. Call Signature Tax now at 800-643-4661. Call 800-643-4661. Again, that's 800-643-4661. 800-643-4661. Get life advice from Dr. Joy Brown. Only here. GCN. GCN. 
breaking news this hour from townhall.com. I'm Keith Peters. Bloodhounds and officers in helicopters are part of the manhunt for three suspects wanted for the fatal shooting of a police officer in Fox Lake, Illinois. Michael Drews of Fox Lake says police were swarming the area. We could see them just like standing across the street with their guns out, just kind of waiting and hanging out there. Um, we didn't exactly, you know, know what to think, but, you know, we locked all the back doors to make sure that no one was going to sneak in on us from the back. An official says the officer was stripped of his gun. County Clerk Kim Davis once again turned away a homosexual couple applying for a marriage license in Rowan County, Kentucky today, even though she had been ordered to do so by the courts. I'm asking you to leave. I'm not leaving. Okay, you I'm all asking just you to push back away. You all are more welcome to stay. Just push back away from the counter. No. no. Just push back We're away not from the counter. Until we have a license. Yeah. We're not leaving then until you're we going have, have a license. license. Davis is refusing to grant any marriage licenses. She says she believes so-called homosexual marriage runs counter to her Christian beliefs. A district judge could now hold her in contempt, which can carry steep fines or jail time. The family of Kate Steinle, who was shot and killed by an illegal immigrant in San Francisco, is filing claims against the city, the Bureau of Land Management, and Immigration and Customs Enforcement because of their failures in handling the illegal immigrant. Family attorney Frank Petrie. We're here because of a tragedy. And we're here for people to take ownership and send a message that things have to change. The alleged shooter Juan Francisco Lopez Sanchez was in the U.S. illegally, but free on the streets because San Francisco authorities declined to detain him as requested by federal officials. It was a rough day on Wall Street as the Dow was down by 470 points, the Nasdaq dropping 140, the S&P lower by 58, oil down 379 to 4541 a barrel. More on these stories on townhall.com. For many people, noise is just a part of life. But there is one noise you shouldn't have to live with. It's the ringing in your ears associated with tinnitus, and sometimes it doesn't stop. Luckily, there is a new homeopathic medicine that can reduce the noises associated with tinnitus. It's called Quiet Assure, and it's guaranteed to help reduce the ringing, the buzzing, and the noises. Finally, there is Quiet Assure. Call right away for a risk-free trial of Quiet Assure. One in five people are suffering from tinnitus. Don't be one of them. Call now. Just call 1-800-326-1765. That's 1-800-326-1765. Quiet Assure is an all-natural homeopathic medicine. Get your risk-free trial. Just call 1-800-326-1765. That's 1-800-326-1765. Hundreds of migrants have been protesting outside a major railway station in the Hungarian capital after police sealed off the terminal to stop them traveling through the EU. <laughs> Germany, Germany, they chant. Europe's new land of opportunity. Berlin expects more than 800,000 refugees and migrants to arrive in Germany this year, partly because of Germany's strong economic growth, but also because Berlin has eased EU asylum rules for Syrians who are now being allowed to stay and apply for refugee status here rather than be sent back to the first EU country they arrived in. BBC correspondent Damian McGuinness reporting. The Los Angeles City Council has thrown its support behind an effort to bid for the 2024 Olympic Games. Today's vote cleared the way for Mayor Eric Garcetti to start negotiations with the U.S. Olympic Committee. News and analysis at townhall.com. I'm Keith Peters. Falling prices at the pump have apparently made drivers more open to a hike in the federal gas tax. Almost three-quarters of Americans surveyed by the Mineta Institute say they'd support a 10-cent-a-gallon hike in the federal gas tax to pay for transportation projects. The current tax of 18.4 cents a gallon hasn't been raised since 1993. It leads to about a $16 billion shortfall in funding each year because of more fuel-efficient vehicles. Transportation advocates say a hike in the federal tax would be the most painless way to plug that shortfall. That's correspondent Wally Hines reporting. A white former police chief in South Carolina has agreed to plead guilty to a lesser charge in the shooting death of an unarmed black man. Prosecutors today agree to drop the murder charge against Richard Combs, who is the former police chief of the small town of Utahville. Holmes agreed to plead guilty to misconduct in office. More on these stories at townhall.com.
So I say to Mark at lunch, look, you know, I keep hearing from the government that, you know, they're worried someday ISIS may get here. And I go, duh, uh, Garland, Texas, Muhammad cartoon shooting. ISIS is already here. I'm not waiting for these people to defend me. If they don't know ISIS is here already, they got no clue. I'm taking care of myself. Guns80.com, AR-15 kits, 30-shot magazines, great prices. They've even got the Hillary special. Guns80.com, that's 844-2-GUNS-80, guns80.com. We, we, we are a survival company. We manufacture our own line of Level 3 and Level 3A body armor. We proudly make our armor 100% in America. We have the best prices in the nation, about $125 cheaper than our nearest competitor. All lab certified, for thou art my rock and my fortress, Psalm 31.3. We are Fortress Survival, LLC. Dot, dot, dot com. This is Free Talk Live. You can join us here toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Join us online over at freetalklive.com. With you tonight, Ian here. And Conan. And Mark. Conan has still yet to outline why he believes Jesus was an anarchist, and we will get into that here. Also going to your calls and thoughts. Let's go first to Wolfgang in Nevada. You're on Free Talk Live, Wolfgang. Hello. Hi there. Hi. Hey, um, Mark was saying that the face on the coin wasn't relevant to the story earlier. The face on yeah. the coin. What are we talking about? We're talking about uh, the, when when Jesus said that, uh, you know, whose face is on the uh, the, the denarii uh, was Caesar's face, and so render under Caesar who is Caesar's. And I was saying that I have a dollar bill in my pocket. It's got George Washington's face on it, and that's irrelevant as to who the own ownership of the, the dollar bill except is because in, it's mine. Except in this particular story, the face of the Caesar on the denarii at the time, the, that Caesar might have actually been sitting. alive. Yeah, it's likely they were sitting. Yeah. Right, but, um, well, it's relevant to the story because um, Caesar said he was God. He was like a, a Roman God that the Jews didn't want to acknowledge. And so Jesus was saying there he was pointing to the first two uh, Hebrew commandments. The first commandment is only one God, and the second commandment is no graven images. And one of the things the Romans were doing was they were putting up uh, Caesar's visage, you know, like uh, up all, you know, they wanted to put it in the temple, but the Jews would never let them do it. But So Jesus was contrasting um, the real God to the to Caesar. And that's the that's why the face on the coin is relevant because it's actually a graven image, so it's like a violation of the first two Jewish commandments to uh, to um, accept that. So do you see the the relevance of the face on the I've, coin? I've heard that interpretation. Goes? I don't know that I've I don't know that it follows this one, this particular story. Yeah, I, one of the things I think I, is, wondered... I think this is more of a property right slash uh, uh, anti. Uh, anti-state leave leave the state behind and do your own thing type of a uh, type of an ar- uh, argument but yeah they, i definitely heard the well, grave the graven images on the on the uh the coin that you're using you should never first of all you should never use in that currency because it's got a friggin' god on it and, and who and who are you following this god or are you following this god i mean i mean where where do you stand right right so he he contrasts the roman god caesar to the jewish god in the next sentence when he says give what one god has coming to him what he has coming to him and give the other what he has coming to him, mm. right? Yeah, and I don't know. Did clear... uh, Augustus actually claim to be a god? Yes, yes. When was this? So he was. I think, did he, or was he, uh, did his family... So the, the Roman, the Roman uh, emperor was a god. Because the next one in line was Tiberius, and then you had Nero, yeah, and those guys were the, some, they were Romans crazy Fruit Loops. Demanded, the way the Romans dealt with their subjugated, uh, conquered peoples like the Jews was they said, you can have your own religions, but you have to accept our God. Usually hmm. you had to accept Caesar's visage right in your temple, which the Jews never actually allowed. So it uh, says that upon had... his death he became a mm-hmm. god, but uh, in his life he, he wasn't. So as a ruler of Rome, Augustus had uh, to lead by example. Well, Augustus he re- is... 
Augustus was way before the supposed time of Jesus. Now, G- Augustus was the uh, Caesar at the time of Jesus' birth. I remember that from Luke 2, which I had to memorize yeah. for every Christmas. So this is 30 years later, 33 years later. Right, and so he uh, and, he died in, I believe, uh, 14 or something like that. So it would have been the next ruler, um, and, you know, I, I, don't, I couldn't tell you who the next ruler is. Ty- but, Tiberius was the next one in line. Fine, and, that could be very well yeah, be the case. Which was which was Augustus? No, I, this sounds like a Christian story, and that's what <laughs> really sort of bugs me. Is is that there was a time I believe nothing that was said prior to the inter- internet. Things need to be able to be checked and verified, and so much of the stuff I learned in the church, it turns out, was just hogwash. So I don't believe the things that I hear at the church. I want to be able to look it up and check it, and the internet's great for that. Have you looked this up and checked it? Well, there's a really interesting theory about. Jesus having not ever existed, and the whole New Testament being written by the Flavian emperors, beginning with um, Titus, well, his father, Vespasian, and his son, Titus. Have you heard this theory? It's no, really I have never had nope. uh, There's a guy named Atwell, Joseph Atwell, who's written a book called Caesar's Messiah, and um, he shows how the, the New Testament stories parallel Titus's... Um, campaign in, in the years 67 through 70, when they came in and really put down the Jewish resistance. And all of the Jesus stories of healing and everything are all going around the Sea of Galilee, parallel Titus's camp, military campaigns against the Jews and the different stories, like uh, Come Follow Me, be, be Fishers of Men, is like happened at an event where the Romans were stabbing all of the Jews off on their boats in, in the south part of the sea. So it's a really interesting story, and that kind of makes sense. He says that they created um, the same people who wrote Josephus, also wrote the New Testament, and it, and it was like a government, military, psychological operation to um, create a, a less um, rebellious religion amongst the Jews, which is sort of what Christianity did. Um, sort Wolfgang, of thanks for the call tonight, man. I appreciate hearing from you. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. So sort of a variant on the theory that you know the religious book was designed to control people in that particular case. Yeah, I mean, uh, it, it gets – it's so difficult. Um, I – uh, these ancient texts, whether they're the Bible or, or whatever they are, are they're a value to sort of uh, look at what people's vision of God is and uh, what they saw at the time and how the world looked uh, to them. I, 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 for me, that's not uh, how I'm going to say that God communicates with me. Like, I just, I just can't. Sorry. I've let it go. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, even uh, you know the uh, the Muslim uh, Quran, they point out in there uh, the, the one of the the whole purposes of the book is to correct misinformation in the Bible, and uh, and you know the idea would be that over time God is going to send more of these messengers, these prophets, to reveal uh, in a way that the people of that time can understand whatever it is that God's message happens to be. And so it makes yeah, it would but, make sense. But don't that, all religions say that to some extent? I mean, Scientology says that everyone else has got it wrong, and we've got it right, yeah, and the aliens are that. yeah, we got to worship in or whatever they do. I think the atheists. One of their best lines is is uh, everybody's uh, um, you know everybody's an atheist to you know there's 500 religions out there. Everybody's an atheist to 499 of ah. them. I'm just an atheist to one more. What's the big deal? And it's a really great sort of argument. Um, you know, they just don't believe that story either. Mary is in Minnesota. You're on Free Talk Live. Uh, Mary, go ahead with your thoughts. Yes, sir. Um, I just wanted to tell you that in my understanding of being a student in art history, um, Augustus was unanimously appointed emperor for life after ending the 300-year war. And then he, after taking that position, um, claimed a lineage to Venus as being a descendant of Therefore, that's where the God reference comes. Got it. Yeah. Now, now, did, he, now he, okay. did he do this on his own, or was or were his representatives? Uh, did they have a hand in this? Do, oh, do you I know, know they, they did. Do you know the history behind it? It was fully supported. Well, I, my understanding, it was fully supported all the way around because then um, he is often linked um, to things that are symbolic or linked to Venus as well. Um, in portraits and statue, um, statuary after 
that time, you know, after becoming, because there is really no artwork of him prior to being an emperor, so we don't know how he was looked at or what he was, how he was seen. But we know after. Hmm. And his wife even commissioned the one they traced, they were able to, um, through um, notes from different people's own, um, like their journal type, whatever, um, on, on artwork and what and writing and the arts of the time period, um, they linked um, a, the, the particular statue where he is wearing the Trojan Roman traditional sandals that his wife requested the, the sculptor put in because he did not wear them as a normal part of his day recreation or any part of his life. Mary, thanks for your call tonight. It's important to get those sandals in there. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And was Jesus an anarchist? Conan will tell us. Coming up. Olive is a yellow lab, six years old, full of energy. But, oh, man, Olive was suffering, to use a word, like a dog. She was itching, she was scratching, she was licking. 24 hours a day, she was shedding all the time. And it drove my wife crazy because she had to vacuum the house a couple times a day. So I'm going up the expressway, and the radio commercial comes on. PD stopped eating. All his hair fell out. Mounds and mounds of fur. Our hairballs have hairballs. And I almost drove off the road because I thought this person on the radio commercial was living with my dog, Olive. And I called my wife. I said, dear, you got to check out this product called Dynavite. Go to D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. So we started Olive on the Dynavite. In about six weeks, she almost has entirely stopped itching, scratching, stopped licking herself. Most of the hair has grown back under her belly. Unexpectedly, her coat has become smooth and shiny, almost like it was when she was a newborn pup. Olive is happy, and my wife is probably the happiest person because the house is cleaner. 859-428-1000. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. No! That's the sound your brain makes when you realize you're buying something and forgot the coupon. Online or in a store, knowing that you're missing a deal is the worst. You need the app from Retail Me Not right now. Get thousands of coupons from 50,000 stores like Kohl's, Domino's, Best Buy, and more with crazy deals like 60% off, free shipping, and free gifts with purchase. You can get a text invite to download the Retail Me Not app 100% free right now for Apple or Android. Just text the code UPDATE to 42767. Then just show your phone at checkout to save. It literally couldn't be easier. It's 2015. Keep your coupon in your phone. Stop what you're doing and text UPDATE to 42767. Listeners will get a text with a link to download it 100% free. Never forget another coupon again. Text the code UPDATE to 42767 right now. That's UPDATE to 42767. Message and data rates may apply. For terms and privacy, visit RetailMeNot.com. Owe $10,000 or more to the IRS? Get on board with the tax admiral. Don't pick on the IRS alone. I'll cut penalties and reduce your overall tax bill. Sometimes I can even get it zeroed out completely. We're an A-rated company helping people clean up their mess with the IRS. If you owe $10,000 or more, then call the tax admiral. Call 800-287-7180. Again, that's 800-287-7180. 800-287-7180. Gold, it's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the re-emergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-223. For the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As good as gold can be yours by calling 800 686 2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800 686 2237. You are an individual with your own thoughts, decisions, and actions. So why should you be penalized for not enrolling in the subpar health insurance mandated by the government? Be truly independent. Visit libertyoncall.org. 
libertyoncall.org is a bold, innovative alternative allowing you to take back control and make your own decisions about your health care. Mention this ad when you call to learn more. 800-714-6993. That's 800-714-6993. libertyoncall.org. Call today. Now more Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. This is Free Talk Live. You can dial in toll-free to join us here on the radio waves at 855-450-FREE. Bring up anything that happens to be on your mind. With you in the studio, you've got Ian. And Conan. And Mark. If you've got a business, you know that IT can be frustrating, unreliable, unpredictable, and late, but it doesn't have to be. IT can serve your needs reliably, predictably, and on time. Rootwork Infotech helps businesses achieve always-on reliability, keeping your customers happy and your staff productive. Rootwork can make IT meet your needs, and to prove it, they'll give you 30 minutes on the phone with a senior consultant for free to answer any of your IT questions. You just go to rootwork.it slash FTL to get your free call. It's R-O-O-T work.it slash F-T-L. Rootwork.it slash F-T-L. All right, Conan, uh, it's been off and on. We've been discussing Jesus. Uh, some say he's a socialist. Others say he's an anarchist. And that's the pitch that you want to make. Well, the famous story is, of course, Jesus got hunted down by these uh, these Pharisees. They're trying to catch him in the act, trying to say, hey, look. Uh, it, I'm not going to pay taxes, tribute to Caesar. And, of course, he comes out and says, render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's. And, well, there's two ways that I take this. There's two ways that I interpret this. Number one, he's pretty much saying, and by the way, he didn't say yes or no because, you know, he's got it. He's got Jesus this, doesn't, doesn't roll that yeah, way. <laughs> that's not how, yeah, that's not how he does. So he's like, all right, hey, look, whatever Caesar owns, man, I'll, I'll be happy to give, un, give, give unto him. Mm-hmm. And he's pretty much saying, no, the coin in my pocket is my coin. Uh, sorry, tough, tough break, buddy. He's pretty much saying that the Caesar doesn't really owe anything. He is, his whole his whole status is unlawful. Now, that's one way of looking at it. The other way of doing it, the other way of looking at this is, because they came up and they're asking, or he asked whose picture is on the coin. And it's probably a living Caesar. And he might, in fact, own that coin. There, you could say that it's his property. So I believe that Jesus was saying, Give Jesus all his stupid coins give back. Give Caesar. Give Caesar. Give Caesar his coins, and you go ahead and uh, amongst yourselves, within your communities, go ahead and use whatever currency you seem you deem fit. You know, outside of the law of of the, go- the current government. And so, you're extracting that just from the statement of give you know render unto Caesar what is Caesar's and render unto God what is God's. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's just. This is one of the problems with just these uh, holy texts and their uh, interpretations. Is they we've had th- four people to call in about, or four people talk about them, and had four different interpretations. I'm, I, yeah. The way I look at it, he's saying, "Look, Ian, use Bitcoin. Don't you don't pay <laughs> don't pay a damn thing to government. Don't no, just stay away from it. Use Bitcoin, and you make transactions voluntary voluntarily right. among the people that you do transactions with. The, you don't do transactions with the city of Keene." Maybe you do. Maybe you maybe you do use the police here and there, or the fire department. Maybe you do. Maybe you feel you need to pay for the, you know, pay a couple dollars a year for mm-hmm. the fire department. Go ahead and make that transaction. But amongst the actual uh, transactions you actually do here in the area, use Bitcoin. You know, uh, with as far as using Bitcoin versus the government currency. And of course, Bitcoin is a decentralized currency, not issued by a government, not issued by any bank. So the government certainly can't claim that the Bitcoin is theirs, right? That that was not created by them. They could claim that they have an interest over the dollars. And I think that they very well might if they were put into a position where they needed to collect them from people and you know take them all back, which, of course, they're never going to do. Well, an agency uh, that's a, it's supposedly gov- – everyone believes is government, Federal Reserve, it printed those, agency, those notes yeah. – and the, the go- and the government behest. and the government uses them after they purchase them. Well, you know, when you ever get your uh, when you get your li- driver's license or your tag, a lot of times if you look closely, there'll be some small print that says that this is the property of the state. That if the state demands that you turn, if the state demands you turn in their driver's license, you have to do it 
because it's not yours. Even though it is in your possession, and certainly you could argue the possession is nine-tenths of the law, uh, they will claim that no, in point of fact... It's theirs. Yeah, but the dollar bill doesn't have that written on it. Just because the driver's license has something written on it. I don't says, know if the driver's license has it written on it. I don't know. I'll have to check that. I know it might. I think it says it on, like, the paperwork. I remember something about, it. like, maybe I did, uh, you know, read something like that at one point or another. Because what you said just sort of rang, rang a bell. Um, but the, the driver's license, they'll tell you driving is a privilege. Um, but... You know, they pretty much tell you your money is yours just because it happens to be denominated in U.S. dollars doesn't make it the U.S. government's. Well, all I'm saying is I think they would have an argument that we provide this, we can take it back anytime we want. And that's what they do with driver's licenses and tags and things like that. Mm, Absolutely. Um, And by the way, I did check my New Hampshire uh, driver's license and it does not say that on it, but I guarantee you. Uh, that is the case. In fact, uh, I've, I've been threatened by a, a state police officer with arrest if I did not turn over a driver's license to him. So they take their identification and their money very, very seriously. But I agree with Conan. The idea is, hey, get out of as much of those dollars as you possibly can. Because it is certainly true, Mark, that if the government wants to, they'll come to your bank and tell your banker to let, uh, let them into their vaults so they can take all of your money. They, they will sure do that, will. and the bankers will do that. They'll allow them to do that. So you really don't uh, have a legitimate claim over that money, except uh, unless you can protect it. Like if you can bury it in the backyard or something like that in a way that the government can't get access to it, then yeah. yeah Jesus had something to say about that too. Did uh, he, Mark? Do you remember the the actual passage about burying your money under the mattress or on, in the backyard? And he said he actually said put it into uh, put it in the bank and to make interest off of it. Who said that? Jesus, Jesus did. did. What? Hold on, let me look it up. I Jesus have no idea what you're talking about. I have no idea what you're talking he about. He said, make, this, that, he make, that, this, make that money work. Don't just hide it in the there's backyard. The parable of the talents. Um, talent? Uh, talents. And uh, these servants were like given. A talent show? <laughs> the, the money the, system. Uh, money, you, the, you get the impression that they're a form of money, um, but that it, oh. you know that this might be something beyond that. That uh, you know, basically, one servant's uh, given some talents, and they, I don't know, um, waste it. One of them buries it and can return it. Another one uh, puts it to work and um, returns it, you know, tenfold or something like that. That servant's rewarded. I believe it's the story. So yeah, take your dollars, turn them into bitcoins, and there are different ways to do that. Of course. I like expresscoin.com uh, where you can go and actually send out a money order or a check and they will turn your dollars into bitcoins. They'll deposit them right into your bitcoin wallet and you can even get up to $40 worth of bitcoin for no transfer fee whatsoever when you use expresscoin.com, which is pretty awesome. Now, if you want to get some of the competitors to Bitcoin, they offer uh, Dogecoin, they have Litecoin there, and I think they might have one or two more, but I don't know what they are. So go to ExpressCoin.com. That's because Bitcoin is really the only relevant one of all of them, but uh, they do have some of the others. ExpressCoin.com. They are a licensed money services business, and they've been doing this for a while now. I've used them a number of times, and Mark, you have as well. Indeed. So, uh, and of course, there are other ways to translate your dollars into Bitcoin, but you know, Bitcoin's great because it is a great way to shield yourself from the government being able to just snatch your money away. And, of course, there's also big companies as large as Dell Computer, People Wikipedia. People are going to want that. That's a huge uh, benefit. The fact that you can you know, save 25% by buying things on uh, uh, save save it, purse. saveitpurse.com is is probably what's going to get people into Bitcoin these days. But once they realize that their money's safe from being taken from them by banks and the federal government and that sort of thing, I mean, we're just talking about banking and how much the fees are, eh, not so much with Bitcoin. All right, so you can share your thoughts here. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Is the FCC going to let it go when it comes to pirate radio operators? The FCC's chairman had a few interesting things to say recently on the subject. This is Free Talk Live. We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit, then carting to a private bank, having it lent back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. 
237. Paid non attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas, is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice, and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention, Zarelto users. If you or a loved one took Zarelto and suffered a serious bleeding event, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Zarelto is a popular prescription blood thinner used to prevent blood clots and protect patients from strokes. These serious bleeding events have led to numerous cases of hospitalization and even death. Phone lines are open 24 7. Call 800 261 0937. That's 800 261 0937. As if chlorine in our water weren't bad enough, now they're adding ammonia? It's true. Some municipalities are now adding ammonia plus chlorine to your water supply. It's a disinfectant called chloramine. But with a trusted Big Berkey water filter, you can keep chloramine out of your water. New NSF EPA certified lab tests show EPA Berkey water filters remove chloramines, pharmaceuticals, BPA, pesticides, bacteria and viruses, all forms of fluoride, and much more. Big Berkey water filters are the original and most trusted on the market. The gold standard in water purification. And our filters last for years at less than two cents per gallon. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get your Big Berkey today. Call 1-877-99-BERKEY or click BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. That's 1-877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. No way. Is that a real bullet necklace? No, it's a 9 millimeter bullet necklace with matching earrings, you'll notice. Those are awesome. Where'd you get them? Dave found them at PatriotNecklace.com. Wow. They have a variety of calibers and necklaces and earrings and keychains. PatriotNecklace.com. PatriotNecklace.com. Your choice of caliber bullet includes a rugged American-made stainless steel dog tag chain. A percentage of every sale goes to military and service-related charities. And get a discount by entering GCN at checkout. Show your patriotism and support our troops with a bullet necklace from PatriotNecklace.com. Honey, why are there fish swimming in our bathtub? Aren't they cute? You need more omega-3s, and those fish oil pills with toxins and heavy metals are scary. So I'm making fish oil from scratch. Oh boy, didn't I tell you I'm ordering Nutrigold fish oil? It's exceptionally pure. That's what they all say. No, really. Nutrigold's fish oil is concentrated from pure cold water fish straight off the Alaskan coast and manufactured right here in the USA. Well, cold Alaskan waters are much more pristine than the polluted waters that other fish oils are sourced from. That's what I'm saying. And it's five-star certified to meet international purity, potency, and freshness standards. Well, that sounds even better. Great. I'll be in my office ordering a few bottles. If I order now on www.fishoil.best, I can save $5 using the promo code MYFISHOIL. Um, Honey, why are there bees in my office? Get rid of those fish burps for good. Go to Nutrigold's U.S. made fish oil products by going to www.fishoil.best and get $5 off by entering My Fish Oil at checkout. By now, you know the smart way to buy emergency food storage is calories per dollar. Ready Supply Foods sells you 50% more food for your money. GMO-free, 25-year shelf life, great tasting, and free shipping. You need 2,000 calories per day under ideal conditions. Most 30-day kits don't have enough calories to sustain you for more than a week. They just don't have enough nutrition to do the job. See the comparisons for yourself at ReadySupplyFoods.com. We are the new leader in value and quality. Go to ReadySupplyFoods.com today. This is Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. Yeah! Free Talk Live. Join us here toll-free. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Who the hell pays tolls anymore anyway? At least for phone calls. <laughs> There's still government tolls on the roads. Uh, and you can also join us via <laughs> Skype. Don't, sc- don't inmates pay a, some kind of a toll oh, for yeah, get, sure getting do. out? Yeah. Uh, well, right, please dial 9 and then pay $20. Yeah, we actually had a federal phone call uh, this week. Should be interesting to see what that looks like on the phone bill later on. So, yeah, I guess there are still some people uh, that are stuck in the old world. But, but Conan, when you're in jail or prison, it's like you're not in the current day anymore. You are restricted to very limited resources uh as far as like news that you can receive you get the newspaper you can listen to the radio and yeah that's about it oh there's tv and and talk and talk to your guards yeah so like you you get the old media basically that's all you get so it's like you've gone back in time 20 years at least when you're in one of these institutions now to give the federal government some credit 
they actually did institute a uh, an email system, so you can actually send emails out as a federal inmate. Unless you have to pay for those as well. You pay in per, Jesus. I believe, minute. I believe you pay per minute, like however long it takes you to use the email program, if I'm recalling correctly, mm-hmm. as an inmate there. So, you know, good for them for that, I guess. I, I, I'll still, you know, I would say that's a step in the right direction, even though you got to pay for it. That's just how they do it. They try to milk these guys every which way they, and their families, uh, every which way they possibly can. Now, one of the things you're probably not going to go to jail for is uh, pirate radio, at least not in 48 out of the 50 states. If you're in New York and Florida, sorry, they can actually put you in jail for that there. Uh, but we'll tell you more about what's going on with pirate radio or might, what might be going on or rather what might not be because the FCC's chairman has spoken out about pirate radio enforcement. He says it can't be solved. A uh, pirate radio problem cannot be solved by enforcement alone. But first, let's go to your calls and thoughts. Mike is in Tennessee. Mike, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, greetings, gentlemen. I, I just wanted to do a follow-up. Last week when you called me a conspiracy theory for giving you eight different reasons why the Virginia shooting was a hoax, I just got yeah. a few more. And on Activist right. Post uh, two days ago, they showed that the, the father is actually an actor, and the boyfriend, well, he's not the real boyfriend. He's an actor, too. Um, and, he, and he's probably gay as well. Chris Hurt you're talking about? Yeah, he, yeah, he probably doesn't have anything to do with this woman. I agree with you. And the the Are father. You're one the, of these. The, you're one of these people. Conan? You better believe it. This is the hokiest thing I've ever seen. You think the shooting? What's in the Virgi- point of it? Why are they capturing the, the hearts and minds of the it's nation? It's all about getting rid of guns. It's all, it's all about, about guns. It's it's totally. It's so rigged. wait a minute. How did they? How, oh, okay, so the guy who shot these people. This uh, former news uh, j- journalist guy who uh, you know he probably angry. who probably never met the girl. Are you saying he wasn't even there? No, 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 no. He was probably there, and he's he might they might have killed him off. He might be in he might be somewhere else right now with a different wait face. Wait a minute. So how, wait a minute. So what? This is just mind boggling right. to me. What this how, is is this is a fundamental uh, a disbelief in the integrity of the entire media system. Like a reporter at a real radio. Who controls play, the media? What are you talking about? Controls the media. <laughs> this is the only media you can trust right here. What are you no, talking you about? You can't trust any any media. No, it, it, Somebody every send me-, me a check. Every media has a bias. We have a bias, but I mean, why can how can you trust these guys? So here's the reason. Because I've been on the air for 12 years and nobody, not one lizard Jew has ever said that they were going to send me That's a check. That's what they all say, buddy. Not nobody one can believe them. Because they all, because they need crazies. They need Alex Jones out there to spread, you know, the wrong message. I've seen the second pair of eyelids in your eyes, Mark. <laughs> Clearly, you are a lizard Jew. Uh, Mike, go ahead with your uh, silly little reasons. I want to hear the rest of them. Well, I just wanted to share with you the facts, and, and that's what no, I'm No, they're not facts just because you claim it, but go ahead. Well, the fact that his father was a Broadway uh, actor for six years, his, the first six Whose years of his life. Whose are we talking about? The camera Allison man? Parker's, the girl who Allison was Parker's supposedly father. killed, who we don't, we don't see a body or anything. Her father was a Broadway actor. Just, what the hell does that have to do with anything? Just like a lot of the Sandy Hook uh, actors. Well, who should be... Wait a minute. I, who could be surprised that somebody who is involved in acting would have a daughter who was also involved in media? And, and now he's... Hello? A, and, and by the way, now he's a banker. All right, let's let Mike get through ahead, his, Mike, uh, ahead, his laundry list here. This, this is more from the people that brought you Building 7 that fell in free fall because of a diesel fuel fire. Okay, keep, okay, keep so, focused. Go ahead. All right, go to YouTube and put in... Virginia Tech shooting hoax, and you can just go down the list. Oh, now Virginia watch. Tech is a hoax as well? Uh-huh. Oh, Virginia Tech, what are they known for? Mind control and engineering? All right. I Virginia think I've heard Tech? enough about uh, about this. Mike, you got one more. Go ahead, one more. Okay, I'm just going to encourage you to go to YouTube and watch the video slowly because I, what I know video? That it will slowly, it'll slowly sink in. Once you watch it, you'll see that the guy standing right there beside them, they're looking at this guy the the lady no, they weren't. Die. Yes, the, yeah. Actually, I caught it in video. He, she looks at him very Nobody's clearly. Who, who looks Allison at? Parker looks right at the shooter. I'm Nobody gonna have to rewatch that video because I watched it and I didn't notice anything well, like you that. Have, you have to get the first copies before they get. Di- di- she looks at him when he's got the gun out. Okay, I don't believe it. In a place where it's free, uh, where you're relatively free to keep and bear arms, you're going to likely see some people do some crazy things with guns, right? In, you mean yeah, in Virginia? I want you to believe something because we're not corrupted, and that's why we don't see it. When we first look at it, we don't see it because we're not built that way. But these people are diabolically screwed up, 
And what you're seeing is is a hoax, my friend. Well, well, thanks mayor, for the call, that Mike. That may or may not be the case. Hey, th- but do I we can't not, believe. Do I, we not have to realize that if you have a certain le- relative freedom to own a particular type of weapon, let's call it a handgun in this case, that a certain amount of crazy people are going to get a hold of handguns and do a certain amount of crazy things, right? I mean, is that not a, a reasonable thing to suggest? There are, there are relatively fewer crazy people committing uh, handgun murders in Great Britain and Australia. These are just things that happen when you have relative freedom around guns. The reason I advocate for freedom to own guns is I believe free men can own uh, own weapons and that slaves cannot. The biggest reason I have any problem believing the media that is being fed to us is because of a little experiment called the Milgram experiment that said that people with badges or with uniforms on are, are more likely going to be listened to and the people are going to follow those orders. These people are dressed up smartly and they they sound professional and they're reading from scripts that sound very they're very well written and people they have a really really hard time believing that yeah nothing they said was false. That, how can that possibly be? And yet every now and then one of these actors uh reporters will get fired because they completely went off the rails saying something that was fake. They get caught in the act and they get fired. But I mean do you notice how there's a conspiracy theory that surrounds every big piece of news? Usually when they're big big shootings, every single shooting Just, in the past 10 years has been a conspiracy. Everything. And this is, you know, at some point or another, one of these uh, has to be legit, right? But this is the problem is is that if you cry wolf enough times, at some point or another people are just like, nope, I'm not believing the wolf story anymore. That's another possible that's another way to look at it. Yeah, there's there's they are so fake and they are so in your face that no one no one believes them anymore. They're all you know, what what? Well, I, I I believe that the I believe that the shooting was uh, legit because I imagine that there are grieving families out there and that there's no no particular reason not to believe that it's true. There's going to be random shootings. If you can't handle the random shooting that goes on, you don't deserve in a pl- to live in a place where the right to keep and bear arms is a is a right. Well, what are they what are they doing? What's the very first? What's the next interview or during the actual interview where they're supposed to be grieving father and grieving boyfriend? What are they talking about? Well, what they they're talking about the, getting rid of guns. The last one with the, uh, the the racist shooting up the black church, they were trying to get rid of the uh, the rebel flag. So how come they're not trying to get rid of the gay flag when the gay guy shoots somebody? Good, good point. Um, because I, because a lot of well, I don't know. Because good point. because politicians and people in power never let a good crisis go to waste. There's always going to be a crisis. There's always going to be a big news. So story. why aren't the counselors coming out? The people, the police officers, the counselors, the the, the authority figures. Why aren't they coming out after the father and the husband and the boyfriend all come on and and say how much they love Allison Parker and the cameraman and whatnot? Why are the boyfriend and the and the and the father actually carrying on this argument, this strategy to get rid of guns? It's become their mission. You watch these guys going to these, these guys going to be after- these guys going to be all over the country for the next couple of years, and this is going to be their no, they thing. Won't. Yes, That's- just like the Sandy Hook parents. That's what. Just like the Sandy Hook parents. I don't know. I haven't seen the Sandy Hook parents on anywhere. I'm then again, I'll watch TV. Uh, 855, 450 free. Uh, so Conan, a conspiracy theorist. It's how, free how talk. You, live. How did you not know? If you own a business, you know incorporating can be a smart way to protect yourself and your assets. So the question is, why haven't you incorporated your business yet? My business? It's too small. Wrong. No matter how small your business, you run the risk of losing all your personal assets, your car, your home, even your entire life savings if you're not incorporated. Incorporating is very complicated. Actually, incorporating is easy and fast. You can do it in just 10 minutes. Call now for your free guide from incorporate.com. 1-800-945-8645. I need a lawyer to incorporate. That's really expensive. You don't need a lawyer, and we don't offer legal or financial advice. Incorporate.com is a service company whose only mission is helping people like you incorporate safely, easily, and quickly. Find out how simple it is to protect your family and personal assets by incorporating. Call now for your free guide. 1-800-945-8645. 1-800-945-8645. That's 1-800-945-8645. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. 
That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. My name is Dell, and I live in El Cajon, California. I was concerned about my cholesterol readings because I knew that high cholesterol is related to clogging of the arteries and increases the risk for heart attack and stroke. One day, I heard an ad for heart and body extract, and I was skeptical, but I decided to give it a try. Man, the numbers don't lie. Learn the secrets of an effective, natural, 100% organic nutritional supplement for a healthy heart and circulation at hbextract.com. KDArmor.com is your one-stop shop for the most affordable body armor, period. With packages starting at $169.99 and free shipping on every order. KD offers soft armor and rifle threat rated armor up to level 4. Go to KDArmor.com and get your body armor today while you still can. Mention this ad and receive a free tactical scarf for a limited time with any body armor package. That's KDArmor.com. Come and take it. Hi, my name is Scott Fuchs, teacher and rowing coach for over 14 years. I was sluggish, overweight, on prescription drugs, and only 30-something. Fortunately, I was referred to Dr. Z, and happy to say Dr. Z's all-natural protocols over a consistent course resolved my health issues. I'm in the best shape of my life, and most importantly, on zero medications. I'm Dr. Zdanowski, author of Evology. Trained as a primary care physician, surgical manipulation under anesthesia, Expert in nutrition, diet, weight loss, immune system, and I specialize in chiropractic. My 15 years of professional experience has taught me the four keys to vibrant health, a balanced muscular skeletal system, an integrated nervous system, a flowing lymphatic system, and a body filled with over 90 essential nutrients. This has been a secret too long. Actualize your potential, reverse disease. Call me, Dr. Z. 201-945-1177, 201-945-1177, evolveyourself.com. Do you owe the IRS money? Has the IRS garnished your wages or put a lien against your house? The IRS has the power to make you pay back what they claim you owe and will stop at nothing to collect. There is a solution. Call Signature Tax now. Speak with our professionals and feel the weight of your tax burden lifted from your shoulders. Call now for your free and confidential analysis. 800-481-3147. Again, that's 800-481-3147. 800-481-3147. You're listening to Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. <laughs> we are uh, continuing here with Conan the Conspiracy How Theorist. How did you not know this? I I've been here for like know? four years, man. I, I have, you, have you ever watched my show? Yes, yes, I have. As a matter of fact, I didn't know you get. I didn't watch every episode, so I didn't know how often you got into uh, the conspiracy world. But you know, uh, you apparently I, I, believe I, this. I, I consider it critical thinking, Ian. Just thinking about no, just just breaking these things out and looking at it. I think and it's just, important and just to look not at believing critically. every damn thing the news tells me. I I don't think you should believe everything the news tells you, but you can believe your eyes. Apparently, <laughs> well, maybe maybe not. Okay, you saw case. the woman get shot. Did uh, you? She got shot. I there saw her being shot at. Three, I can't say three, for sure. Three point blank rounds. He went misses off at the her. first one. He, he must have missed all three. I think he might have. It's not easy to shoot somebody, Conan. Especially, especially when, when you're holding a camera and you're doing both. So you're holding. So you obviously there's that, and it, you know, a pistol is more inaccurate than a rifle. And you know, even though he was relatively close to them, you know, you're nervous, you're shaking. There's adrenaline rushing through uh, your veins. It's not an he easy thing. He pulled the gun to... out and then put it back in at one point. Yeah, he clearly wasn't really yeah, necessarily. He, and he just stood there for 20 seconds while they while the interview was taking place. And yes, no he did. one Okay, knew so that we're talking about this this Virginia uh, situation where there's video of the you know alleged the murders happening here. Conan two, two is di- saying two different takes, one from the shooter and one from the original footage. The cameraman, yeah. One uh, now Conan is saying this is a setup. This is uh, some sort of government plot to uh, bring about gun control. I'm saying this is suspicious. Oh, you're not saying those things. Okay. I'm saying I don't I'm not saying no one got shot. Yeah. I'm I'm just saying that the whole setup is suspicious. I'm saying that especially out of all of these out of all of these things, the most suspicious is the red haired boyfriend who I think is gay and is another actor <laughs> with his with his little family scrapbook. All right, so I haven't seen the red haired boyfriend or or whatever. I saw some of the pictures, I guess, of, of them together, but Look, uh, you had said that in the video of the uh, the cameraman and this lady and the interviewee where 
uh, Lester was it Vester was it Vester. Vester where Vester aka Bryce Williams comes up holds the gun out he's got a GoPro or something camera and he's recording him sort of like first person shooter style pointing the gun at these people uh he sort of holds it there for a moment pulls it back then brings it back out and starts shooting you claim this woman saw him with the gun out no 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 the, the last caller said that I'm claiming that the that Allison saw this big 300 pound black man approached them yeah okay i'll give you that she she might have noticed him out of the corner of her, of her eye or something like that the only First, person on the pier by the way there's no one else there are no there are no other well, not that we know of at least i mean if there was someone behind him we wouldn't we wouldn't well, really know why, that why sure. haven't they come forward and said what they've seen where you know where is any well, where is, well, where is any other footage uh cameras are there any other cameras you're not on this privy facility? to all of the police interviews of the various different witnesses of this having done um a few interviews myself out in public uh, sometimes what you've got to do is, is if there's a lot of action going on around you, is you've got to zoom in on the eyes of the person that you're talking to, and you've got to stay in contact with them. My job right now right. is Pay to attention. communicate to my audience and to the people who are on the microphones. And so, therefore, when things are going on out, I can understand what it's like. Like people might think I'm looking right at them. I'm not. I'm looking. Uh, I may be looking at nothing at all, or looking at uh, my par- partner who's next to them, or something like that. And I cannot see these people. And if I do catch them, I have to immediately sort of you know block them out of my brain because I can't communicate with them out in the real world while I do my show. And you don't want to be distracted either. Um, So, you know, some people don't seem to understand how the interviewer and the interviewee can be so locked in on one another in this. When you're being interviewed, you want to pay attention to the interviewer. There's constantly, especially in a busy situation, there's that chance that there's some fool jumping around trying to get on the camera or trying to distract you or whatever and so, you know, if you want to look good on camera, you don't let that stuff get to you and you stay focused on doing the interview. So I think it's completely plausible that the interviewee is, you know, looking only at the interviewer and the interviewer. I don't think she even really looks over at Vester. She she seems to be shaking her. The point of the video where you say she turns and looks at Vester, she seems to be shaking her head like no in response to something that the uh, the lady says. And if, if anything, she merely notices Vester. It's right before he pulls the gun out. Mm-hmm. So it's very well possible she does not see him pointing a gun. If she's looking straight at her interviewee, which is what she should do as a professional to stay in the shot and to stay on target, they're on live television. You don't have time to stop down and look around and check things out that are going on around you. So, I, I mean, it's just I'm just bewildered that uh, you, I guess you're not taking it as far as our caller did but that you don't believe this is as it is presented. I think it's suspicious. I think it's especially suspicious that maybe, all right, so I understand the whole thing. Do you think t- Vester's I, I, crazy? Oh, yeah. I, I believe. So he I, wasn't in on it then? I believe he's crazy. I, he, he was probably, he probably orchestrated the whole thing. But now, but but now, who is this boyfriend who has all these? Did Vester orchestrate the boyfriend? Well, I don't know. The the of pictures, not. the pictures he brought out in his scrapbook are very very suspicious. Vester's a former employee, a former coworker of this. Who supposedly lady. met the uh, reporter Allison, but I don't think they ever worked together. He was he was fired a whole year before she even came on. I don't know what these stories are, and I don't know why this crazy man began uh, started shooting these these people. But um, you know. This my at this point, I don't believe the conspiracy theories at all because every single story comes out with a new one. I'll tell you what, within the next two months, there's going to be another terrible slaying. I would say and within six weeks. A group of crazy people are going to say we need to take all the guns away from everybody. And it's usually the mom or the dad or whoever. It's not it's not hard to predict that the family members are going to say, these darn guns. I mean, it's that's just how it goes. Now, you're claiming there's some sort of orchestration. I'm not saying it's impossible to believe that there could be something like that, Conan, but it's improbable in this circumstance. Mm. So anyway, that's where I'm coming from on this. But I think we should talk about pirate radio because, you know, nobody's going to be able to come up with a, a, you know, a firm answer on this. There's just so much speculation on uh, what the truth is about this shooting. I will go with what I see on the video and, you know, you guys can argue it out at your leisure. Uh, Stories from All Access, which is an industry website for the radio business, 
FCC Chairman Tom Wheeler's response to 16 members of Congress from the New York area who asked the commission to crack down on pirate radio stations in their area told the legislators that enforcement is subject to cost and prioritization and that, quote, the pirate radio problem cannot be solved by enforcement alone. Now, is that an admission that he can't do this? It sounds like he needs more funding. He needs more employees. He needs more people to go out and actually track these people down. Or maybe he's but asking there needs to be there needs to be more laws put in place so that when they do catch one of these guys who's running a radio out of his garage, that they don't just hand over the note and says you have ten days to uh, get rid of this, or we're going to do this and this and this. Well, I he think, does I think- have a proposal. He does have a proposal for more some level of government involvement. But the thing you don't know is that this same chairperson has recently authorized with the FCC, you know, as a whole, to shut down, I think, something like a dozen field offices. Hmm. So they're closing FCC field offices all across the country. Sadly, Boston's going to stay open. Are they but, turning into something else, or are they no, just going just away? Shutting them they down. don't have the money. The well, budget's uh, well, being cut. Well, that's my kind of shutdown right there. I exactly. love it. I, so my ears. There are going to be fewer enforcement agents all around the country. But not Boston. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Boston's going to stay online, um, but the bunch of them are closing. Tampa's closing. There's a big, big station. You know, big stations are closing down. And of course, the FCC doesn't monitor the band anyway. They act based on complaints, so they have to receive a complaint first. So, is he admitting that they can't actually stop pirate radio? The letter sent back to Congress by Wheeler calls enforcement against pirates quote resource intensive, and he adds that the time and expense of these cases present particular difficulties in the current flat budget environment, where the commission's staffing is at its lowest point in 30 years. Yay! <laughs> and overtime is less available, he says. Accordingly, we must prioritize our work based on existing resources, which they're now cutting down because they're closing their offices, and the harm to the public. Thus, matters posing an imminent threat to public safety or directly harming large numbers of consumers must take precedence over other matters, including pirate radio. Hmm. So he's also saying... Not only can we not stop it with enforcement alone, but we've got other things that are more important, in his opinion, to focus their limited resources on. Like booby, like, like nipple checks. Like what, Mark? Like what? Uh, well, Nip- I mean, nip- imminent threats nip- to public checks. safety. What is an imminent threat to public safety? That the FCC can do something the about? FCC yeah, I, does, I don't know. Somebody has a, has a sound blasting but it, b- b- sonic ray? It sure sounds like he's giving up on pirate radio here. Uh, But then further, apparently, they did uh, kick around some ideas to address the pirate issue at this pirate roundtable, including adding aiding and abetting liability for other parties like landlords, education, and additional FCC state and local options for enforcement. As you may know, uh, New York and Florida have passed laws making it a misdemeanor to operate a pirate radio station. So if you're in those two states, you are taking pretty significant risk elsewhere. It looks like the risk is lower than it's ever been now. I love it. If you want to learn more about operating your own uh, community radio station, a.k.a. pirate, free radio station, whatever you want to call it, you can go to station.lrn.fm and you can learn more, a lot more there. We'll see you tomorrow night. Online in the meantime, go to blacksheeprising.org for more Conan and freetalklive.com. I wish I could fall asleep. Jennifer had a stressful day, and now her mind is spinning at bedtime. I've been lying here forever. It's time for new Unisom Sleep Minis. The tiny capsules are non-habit forming and work fast. They're the little help busy people need to get a good night's sleep and wake recharged. (sighs) Good night. New Unisom Sleep Minis. A stressful day deserves a restful night. Use as directed. Active ingredient diphenhydramine hydrochloride. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodic.